TV. That was the that was the Welcome last few words of the intro everybody. to the Ernest TV show. What's up? Um, we were just talking can, about '90s music. Can you quick? Uh, I know we're not going to get into it right right now, but can you uh, sort by name? That's always so nice when you do that. Correct. Yes, yes, yes. yes '90s yes. music. So uh, "Torn" by Natalie Imbruglia. You do not pronounce the G, right? Correct. Chat or Goobywood. Uh, Hello. I think it's Im- Imbruglia. <laughs> that doesn't sound right, does it? Im- it's funny Imbruglia. though. Imbruglia. But you know, it'd be funny if a lady that uh, pleasant looking, <laughs> uh, you meet her and she's like, My name's Natalie. Oh, yeah, Natalie Imbruglia. You're like, <laughs> It's fine. I still think you look great in your jumper, romper. What, what did she wear? A sundress? What did she have on in that video? I thought she had overalls on. Maybe, no? whatever. Doesn't matter. She's cute. She's very cute. All right, uh, huh? <laughs> okay. I'm just Jimmy. right. I'm right into the horniness. Spring's coming, man. I got seeds to sow. Uh, um, no, I don't. I absolutely. Well, I mean, I do, but I shouldn't. That's what I mean. <laughs> Welcome to Trailer Boys, everyone. The uh, show I'm where <laughs> talk about my sperm. Um, no. Uh, yeah, this is the music. show. Okay, Sam. Nate, yes. Sam, and I are going to talk about something. Okay, so shut up for a second. Uh, <laughs> Sam. Okay, I think we've told this story on a long ago self suck but uh the live sketch that i i i ruined you know where i'm going with this we're oh, oh be, yeah 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 we're gonna be a chain gang and instead of singing like old timey chain gang songs we're gonna be singing 90s alternative rock songs well i the guys wrote it i don't know if i was there when they wrote it but the guys wrote it i was supposed to be the first one and I, I, I wasn't was, there. I wasn't there this week. I only heard about it. And oh, after you weren't the on that show okay. because if I was on that show, I would have been able to to salvage play you. that part. You know, because you're a genius. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, but because you fucking know the song. So, anyways, yeah. so I'm first, and I'm supposed to sing. You know, and so we're all on stage pretending to be like in some sort sort of chain gang or prison gang. You know, whatever. Uh, working chain on chain gang. Yeah, and chain so. Gang. I'm supposed to start singing the words to better than Ezra uh, good. And uh, I start, so I, I don't know a lot this of is, those. This is what I've heard it. Can I, can I sing it? No, let me finish. Let me finish. Right, you right, you yeah, can make yeah. fun of me however you like. Uh, so <laughs> I, cause, cause it takes some explanation. Cause first. It, it's still like your version has. I wasn't still there. So let me keep cutting, in cutting into your story with what happened. What now? No, I'm not, I'm not telling. I'm saying like, I wasn't even there, but your version of it is still seared in my head. I think yeah. I think about the way people talked about you singing it more than I think about the actual song. I know, right? Well, here's We're the thing. We're talking is, about uh, a sketch from a live show, just to bring yeah. everyone back in. So We've in, had a lot in, of preamble. In my, so here's the deal. So I, uh, in the 90s, I was like a ska punk kid. I did not listen to Top 40 shit. I didn't listen to the radio, you know, at all. Uh, since then, I've done Shots you know, different fired. work. Yeah, well, you know, whatever. And, and since the 90s, then, I've done... ska punk was Top 40. <laughs> not the stuff. No, good I didn't point. listen to... Good point. <laughs> I didn't listen to Real Big Fish and uh, 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 Mighty Boss Tones, all that stuff. I listened to, like, you know, bands that... There was two Mighties. Oh, sorry. Did I only say one? Or did I accidentally yeah. say three? 
<laughs> Anyways, no respect to Massachusetts. No quarter given. Anyways, uh, just kidding, guys. So, okay, so I don't know these songs, and I've always been bad with lyrics. You know, obviously now I know that some of that's an ADHD thing, and I don't know, just because I just don't pick that stuff up. But, like, uh, even though, it, you know, I've, I've done some work in, in, in different fields where I hear 90s music a lot more, so now I know the song. But, but So I didn't know it then, okay? But also, I thought we were supposed to be singing in the style – of old chain gang songs, right? And so I get up there. They've told me the couple lyrics I have to sing, and I pretend to raise my pickaxe. And now, Sam, you may do what you understand to be how I sing it. Go. Sure, good living with you. Yeah, yep, that's it. It's like, sure, good living with you. And it just stops the sketch. Trevor and Zach are like, what the fuck are you doing? And I'm pretty sure Darren just started laughing. He's like, Timmy, no. I don't remember exactly, but that's it. And I was like, what? They're like, that's what we're doing. You don't know the song? I'm like, no, but I thought it was. A... And then we just moved on. But um, <laughs> but now I know the song. It was good living with you. Oh, you know, but uh, yeah. that's the thing is. Uh, Did you do an accent too, Timmy? When? sketch no no just it was just it was literally just that it was sure good living with you just like that you know? <laughs> <laughs> sure oh, good living with you. yeah dude it was it was bad but here's the thing is like I've, it's I mean, weird I that that I've still gets stuck in my head though huh <laughs> it's weird it gets that stuck that in your head and you didn't hear it in my head yeah, yeah why is yeah. it well you know what? well it's old to me you know you've heard yeah. all four of us sing it too because everybody's like well, yeah. we told the story before but uh, I don't think I've ever explained the other part until now where it was like, I was, I mean, in my head, I was trying to say, I thought we were supposed to sound like it just with different lyrics. I didn't know we we're singing the actual tune, you know, but were you, that's were you fine because I didn't know the fucking to sing? tune. Yeah, they had me start. Now that's their problem partially because I'm like, I don't know the song. They're like, okay, we'll start with you. What? So it, you started you know off I mean? problematic. It's like the very first saying. baseball game. Yeah. One guy's teaching his friend that makes his friend start. You know, like, like, what oh, is that? Oh, Timmy, no, not like that. Yeah, it's like, well, like well, what? Why didn't one of you motherfuckers that, that were subjected to top 40 radio and couldn't make your own choices in the 90s, why didn't you guys start, the, you know? So. Well, um, I'll, I'll say this is that, is that in the sketch that, that w- was on the show, the uh, we're going to go live underwater sketch, I had to recite a bunch of uh, oh yeah little part parts of the song under the sea yeah man and I wasn't a very big Little Mermaid head and uh, and it was always the hardest thing for me to memorize because we did it live because we did yeah when we yeah. did it live and everyone and was like why it. why can't you memorize <laughs> these lyrics <laughs> honestly you know there's casting decisions that should have been uh, made with more thought because like I was the oldest of six kids. Right. So I fucking knew the little mermaid songs. <laughs> yeah. Like, I watched a whole bunch of kids watch those movies all the time. So, you know, uh, yeah, but, uh, but man, I, I definitely, and, and now, you know, whenever I hear that song at work or something, I'm always just like, Whoa, it was good. I'm, I'm just, I'm, I always think of that being on stage and just that split second of just being goddamn mortified. You know? <laughs> Sam, Welcome could to you, Trailer Boys, everybody. Could you recite any of those Little Mermaid lyrics now? Or have, has that been seared into your brain? Uh, the the carp plays do, 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 do. the harp. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. The carp. The car, I didn't sing it because Nate Nate started doing the. I, know, the I was carp trying to bring you harp. into it. Nate, shut up. The loop, the loop plays the flute, right? The loot. Yep, the loop. Uh, right? The loot plays the flute. The that sounds right. Plays the flute. Probably. Right? Uh, um. <laughs> the. Uh, I, I forget the and, and then it ends with like. Oh, that blowfish blow. 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 Oh yeah! Oh, that blowfish blows. Yeah, that. Mm-hmm. Well, all right, wait. The what is it? The carp plays the harp. The loop plays the flute. I guess we the, could be googling this, huh? Uh, under the sea lyrics. Ocean bottom, daddy. Ocean bottom. I knew you wouldn't understand. I love that sketch. And then I'm the mom, right? And then at the, I'm like, try. I, I keep getting interrupted, right? And at the end, I'm like, honey, I yeah. have bone cancer. He's like, no one wants to hear about your stupid soap opera. Here we go. Okay. The newt played the flute. That makes more oh, sense. Oh, the newt. Okay. The yeah. newt played the okay. flute. The carp played the harp. The place, ba- play, the place played the bass and they sounded sharp. The bass 
Okay. The place, okay. The new play the flute, the carp play the harp, the place play the bass, and they sounded sharp. The bass play the brass, the chub play the tub, the fluke is a duke of soul. Yeah. The ray he can play, the lings on the strings, the trout rocking out, the blackfish she sings, the smelt and the sprat, they know where it's at. And oh, that blowfish blow. Damn, dude. That is. Uh, I, I didn't have to do that whole thing. I think no, I had to but do you the did smelt. about half of it. And you did the, the smelt, smelt and the one, sprat. The blackfish, because yeah. I can hear you, your voice in my head. The blackfish, she sings. You already, you always said it with that inflection. So I remember that. Uh, yeah, blackfish, yeah. she sings. Yeah. I, which, but, but, which is how you did it. Like, that, no one fucking knew that. Also, yeah. <laughs> you know, but I think you did about half of that probably. But geez, man, that is like, uh, that would be another thing that would be fun to re- like recite really fast or hear the micro machines guy do you know i guess i'm just saying i uh, like rap i just like to listen to people rapping <laughs> anyways is the micro machines guy still alive fuck yeah man i was just talking about him because i'm a when i record uh, commercials and stuff i uh do i get sometimes you have to talk that fast for car commercials so you know uh micro machines guy his name is John something. What the hell is his name? John Machida. Okay, John Machida is yeah. He's uh he'll be sixty nine this year. Fuck yeah. <laughs> this is episode sixty, and we're doing nineties. So sixty nineties. Oh. Oh. <clears throat> we are a sixty nine track bunch of we're a bunch of fucking morons. Nice. We <laughs> got nices in the chat. Okay, uh, so uh, so uh, what's up? Do we? Uh, what do you guys want to do? Uh, it's a show do do? called Trivia Boys. I just right. wanted to point out there's a, a lot of new people in chat saying, "Hey, I finally get to catch a Whitest Kid stream live." Uh oh, <laughs> we've got bad news. <laughs> this one is, of this us is the one. Yeah, I'm not even. You know, one of us who's the guy? One of the guys. But yeah, I mean, exactly. Nate, who's Nate that is guy? The, uh, Nate is our Pete Best. Best. <laughs> is Pete Best the best example? What do you think, Sam? Pete Best. No, is, Nate's, I'm more Nate's of a George like, Best. What does that mean? Nate's Sam would get. <laughs> that's, a, that's a Sam joke. Okay. Uh, Nate, Nate's more of uh, the brother of the guy from The National who <laughs> tried to make a documentary about them, and they're all like, hey, you're annoying us. What about uh, the guy in the Boston's that just dances? That guy's awesome. Yeah. I mean, but that guy's also in the band. Yeah, he's in the band. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> true, true, true. I was in the live episode of your show. Yeah, That's you true. were from here to here. And, you had uh, le- less lines than my mom. <laughs> <laughs> She's in the uh-huh. scene where I'm eating a banana, and Darren says, "Like you're always eating," and I'm like, "This is a banana, man. You can't get <laughs> on me about that shit, you know." But it's like it's not. If, if I was like dipping potato chips in chicken gravy, yeah. But I'm you eating. Know, <laughs> Anyways, um, so this is Trailer Boys. We watch yes, trailers. There we go. Submit them what is, on a What theme. do we do on the show? Yeah, there we go, Timmy. I, Sorry. What, what we normally do is I try and get down to business, and Nate talks over me, telling me I should get down to business. That's like 90% of the show when I'm on. Um, so, <laughs> what? Bullshit. I was doing the spiel. Do you want to do the spiel? You clearly. No, 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 no. I love invested. when you do the spiel. You're very <clears throat> spiel invested. Tell people that haven't seen the show how the show works. I was doing that. And then you said, yeah, do that. No, I'm, like, I'm trying to get you back that. on it. I'm trying to bring you back. All right. Why don't you just be quiet and I'll finish. This is, this is a lot noise. like a scene from the Mars movie right now. Problematic. Uh, man, I forget which scene you're referring to. Uh, it doesn't matter. Guess, don't say anything. Don't say anything. All no, right. I would say anything. I, the more Nate talks, the less I'm going to do this. Uh, anyways. <laughs> okay, so Trailer Boys, it's a show where we watch trailers that you submit, and uh, we award points, and there's like a whole season, and so as the season goes on, once somebody reaches a certain amount of points, we stop, and there's a championship, and uh, you don't win anything. No, you do win something. There's a trophy, right? Yeah. Okay. So Oops. anyways, so uh, we watch trailers. Every week there's a theme. This week's theme is 90s movies, which was also the theme last week, but there was apparently, I wasn't here, but there was apparently so many good ones submitted that uh, you just keep, we we're just going to keep going, which is great, you know? Um, so if you are, you can still submit. You go to miserylove.us. Uh, I think the link's on the screen. And uh, if, you, uh, if you're going to submit, watch your trailer first. 
Uh, make sure Rule it's one. not over three minutes long. It can be, but we're going to hate it. And then also make sure there's not like titties or, uh, you know, insertion. Uh, yeah, TOS. Yeah, you go right from titties to insertion. <laughs> there's a, two there's a whole ton of stuff them. in between there. Those are the two things I think about the most. Those are my favorite Wait. parts of sex. Yeah, those insertion trailers. My favorite parts of sex trailers. <laughs> insertion trailers. Those Jesus are my favorite Christ. parts of sex are titties and insertion. <laughs> we might be suspicious that a trailer will have insertion when we click on the link and it brings us to Pornhub. You right. know? <laughs> what Guys, you're going to jerk off school? anyways. Um, Ejaculation, Timmy? Doom, 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 boom. What, 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 Nate? Huh? Ejaculation in trailers? It depends. Uh... <laughs> It can be okay. What if it's inferred? What if you know how many '90s comedies have like a guy sees a hot girl and then like does something like, and then '80s too, like squeezes bottle ketchup, you know? So that's like, and it squirts everywhere. That's like implied ejaculation. You know what I mean? I guess. Um, but you're uh, talking about like about Mary. Oh, there's that's got to be in the movie. trailer. Yeah, that's now, that I guess, is. I guess, yeah. I'm wrong. Not, I guess I'm wrong. Right, but that's not ejaculation. <laughs> that's ejaculate. Because you see it, but you don't see the act, do you? You know, he's doing it. He's like, not like that. But is that that's not in the trailer, is it? I, I don't know. Did anyone submit it? I have no idea. Maybe someone submitted it. Uh, um, should we show the winner of last week? Yes. Just go really for quick, it. I want to show the leaderboard right now. Flanja yeah, yeah, yeah. is number one in sixty-six points. Beach that makes you old, sixty-one. Right on. Beach that makes you old could take the lead tonight. Uh, oh, Lobaka. Oh, yeah. Wow. Also pretty close. Goes all the way down to 10th place. Rex Boswell to 23. So that's what the standings are. Flanja, people may remember, season one winner. Hey, Frank oh, Howley's, we got Frank a Frank Howley's 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 We Sam. got a Frank Howley raid. Hey, and Frank. it's a good, good time. It's a Frank Howley raid. And we're having a fun time. Frank Howley raid. Listen to my rhyme. It's a Frank Halley raid. Oh yeah. There was where was the rhyme? It's a Frank Halley raid. He said, "Listen it's to my rhyme," Frank... and then it didn't rhyme. It's the song's not over yet. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know it's this long form rhyme. It's rhyming. a Frank Halley raid. It's a F Frank Halley raid. It's a Frank Halley raid. Eight, 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 eight. <laughs> What a perfect time for He's someone not to done. Bring He's up not the... done. Oh, sorry. It's a Frank Halley raid. It's a Frank Halley raid. It's a Frank Halley raid. Eight, 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 eight. One time I was running around saying something cool in my town. It's a Frank Halley raid. There's the rhyme. It's a Frank there we Halley go. Sorry, raid. <laughs> The Frank Kelly raid eight 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 eight. <laughs> I, I read into ra raid and aid. Okay. Okay, we'll let it pass. I'm mad at myself for <laughs> laughing that hard at that at the end. Like it Central was one plane, of those things yeah. where it's Central like says, "Why does Sam torture? hate his viewers?" <laughs> What's funny is right Sam, when he was like, "I don't know. I don't know. Right? Have you been watching this?" <laughs> Right when, have, right when have he was, you been reading the chat? Right, right when he was really getting into the song, uh, someone had the the donate link pop up. It was like Sam's like Frank Halley, right? And it says help us fund the movie. I have to imagine <laughs> someone was like, no, <laughs> close. <laughs> Is that guy gonna sing in the movie about Frank Halley? <clears throat> Anyways, thank uh, you, wish. Frank Halley. There is a movie that is currently being funded. Um, it oh. is in the 90th percent of foundation. Mm -hmm. I think that's a word, but I'm going to say it. But it's like at least 90%. It's, yeah. it's getting up there. You guys want to see the yeah. winner of last week? Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's see the winner of last week. I fucking love Police Squad. Just blowing it for everybody that hasn't seen it. One person probably understood that connection. It was an age of tradition and privilege when eminence was a birthright and passion a sin. Now, from the director 
of A View from the Shore and the producer of Enchanted Garden comes a motion picture of rare significance and profound emotion. This is the story of a love so powerful it swept aside every restriction of its age and sparked the most infamous romance of an entire generation. Three and a third, the final insult. I noticed the continuity error here. No. Oh, that yeah. one guy's now dressed period accurate. He's just wearing a suit. <laughs> yeah. No, he, he swings open the door and then he picks the milk up at his feet. How could oh, the milk be there wow. if he swung open the door? Sam Brown, everybody. That's a good point, my friend. Um, I have to go parent. I'll be right back. Don't okay. tell anybody. Should we watch should we watch a coming attractions? <clears throat> well Timmy does Timmy sing on a yoga ball? I do you think he is? This yeah, he's yoga a yoga person. Uh do uh, do you watch The Office? Nate? Yeah. The American the Office. office. I've seen the American. I mean, have you have you seen the episode where uh, Dwight? The opening is Dwight sitting on a yoga ball, and oh, uh, and he's like pitching it to Jim. He's like, "Yeah, these are actually really good for you." And like, you know, like so. And then uh, Jim asks him how much it costs, and he says twenty bucks. And he's like, "Okay." And he gets up and like kind of nonchalantly pops it with his scissors. If you see that, uh, pay attention to the fact they thought that the yoga oh, ball hey. would sl slowly deflate and it, it fucking pops. And you can see uh, John Krasinski in that, like laughing and jumping away. <laughs> uh, narcissist watch the office. OK, OK. Yeah, some people are. Uh, I just I just sit in here. Those are narcs. I got in here, and people uh, are like giving you shit for talking about the office. That's weird. Uh, Is there some sort of office 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 backlash now, or what? I don't know. I mean, uh, I mean, I thought. I thought. I, I, listen, I've never really watched it that much, but I don't have anything against it, and uh, I feel like. Uh, Everybody likes it or is just okay with it. You know what I mean? It's very funny. I mean, right. there was this, there was a joke on it that I that I saw recently that I was like, oh, that's a great joke. Uh, there's a character basically that that is uh, pregnant, and it was it was when Michael Scott was dating this character that she would have gotten pregnant, mm -hmm. and. Uh, he goes, I'm going to have a baby. And she's like, uh, no, actually, it's not yours. And he goes, you cheated on me when I specifically asked you not to? <laughs> I love that. I, that's, that's so, so much a funny. funny thing to say. I specifically asked you not to? Yeah, he was he was good at that <laughs> character. Sam, do you have any Coop Riot says, on. Timmy too cool for radio watches yeah. the fucking office. Well, if you hadn't started <laughs> just typing out an insult, I said I haven't really watched it, but the, I'm just defending people's right to talk about it. That, that doesn't mean Sam's weird. So are you go ready? fuck yourself. I'm ready. What are we doing? Ready? Hold we, on. Is this coming attractions? Yes. I have a new coming attractions. Uh, Oh, cool. I like that. Now we're here. And now we're here. No one here is not a dreamer. Really crewed up? Not in a world like this. All where right. you can have it all. I like, I like Japan. We live with miracles at our fingertips. Got robots taking out the trash. Let's go. That's on Amazon. And that's what I want for you and your families. That's the dream you all deserve. Soon you folks will be saying, wow. I 
love living on the moon. Remember, we're not just selling, we're changing lives. Congratulations on your new home in the stars. Extremely fallouty, though. I've been thinking about moving up there. The moon might be nice. What about all them aliens? Well, there's no such thing. Somebody what said, is this? Like, What's going worry, on? Darling, but boring. Did, did we do something wrong? I'm gonna tell him soon. What do you think I am? I know what you are. You're gonna rip him away from everything decent. Everyone else plays fast and loose. Why can't we? What? The music can't stop. Because we get to dream on a better tomorrow. I left my whole life for this. I want the truth. What are we selling here? I can't fix our problems. We'll find a way. A lot you going and me. Is this a movie Here's or a some show? Things you should know about Jack. It said movie well, trailer. Tomorrow, but doesn't start like when you land on the moon. Film. It starts today. <laughs> Maybe hmm. it's a show. Man, you know, people are still it. doing the slow cover of a song thing. It's like it's just yeah. not, it's just not stopping. It's a real trend. Okay, this hmm. this one's definitely a movie. Okay, good. <laughs> oh fuck yeah. I've not okay, I've heard of this. Here. I haven't seen the trailer. I don't know how you sleep with all these lights. What are you scared of? I like oh, this okay, guy okay. from the Mindy Project. Okay, monster check complete. <laughs> Ominous. I like that glowing pillow thing. That's fun. That's great. Hidden. In the dark. Wait, did this say Stephen like King's involved? spooky monsters you think are hiding under your bed. Yeah, I'm saying it's It's not real. But it could be that this is like based on a short story. Yeah, what is this? He's written is that so the girl many. from uh, Yellow Jackets? Which, who? It's the thing that comes for your kids oh. when you're not paying attention. Oh, I like that, David dude. That's the thing that's back in, man. He just started his own production company. I wonder if this He's, is it. You Ooh. believe me? Don't you? That looks yeah. great. That looks good. Yeah. Into it. David Dasmalkin. Hey. Yes, he he hosts it. Well, he hosted the Chainsaw Awards last year. I don't know if he'll do it this year, but he's a cool I like guy. Him. I like him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. A June second horror movie, huh? Well, uh, Black Phone came out in June last year and did pretty well. Yeah. I heard uh, September 9th is a good day for horror movies to be released. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's definitely been proven more than once now. So yeah. it, that did remind me of my critique of Zach's trailer when it came out because I I saw it and I was like, yeah, I don't think you guys should have the the subtitles burned into the trailers. And he's like, what the fuck are you talking about? And then I realized I was not watching the official trailer. It was like somebody else had like put subtitles in the trailer. Oh, Nathaniel. People love unsolicited critiques. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Especially from people who uh, are ill informed or watch the wrong thing. They love it. <laughs> yeah. Um, cool. Are we got any more? Are we good? No, uh, no. That, that's it. There's more. Oh, that's okay. it. Okay, cool. No, that's it. Um, uh, that looks that, great. I really thought I'll that looked good. 
there's that guy from the Mindy Project in this. I feel like that guy, um, Justin Thoreau, and the guy from Veep are like shades of the same actor. Uh huh. Is that yeah. going to be PG thirteen? Because that looks like a good. That looks like one that my kid would enjoy. You know what I mean? It, it, like it says PG thirteen at the end of it. Oh, it did? I didn't see that. Oh, great. Christmas scene. Yeah. yeah, Deja, that's him. And I love when, you know, people get like, oh, PG-13 horror movie. It's like, dude, uh, a scare is a scare, whether there's blood and titties around. I mean, we all love those, but, you know, uh, PG-13 horror is, it actually can be maybe even more challenging sometimes, you know, because you get that scare without getting to be too gross. But look at like, uh I mean, Gremlins, I guess that came out PG originally. But, you know, there's a lot of good not R-rated horror. Uh, um, Drag Me to Hell. You know? Anyways. Oh, that girl was Uh, also Drash from the Book of Boba Fett. Oh, one of the... uh, you know, there were, did you guys watch that show? There the, was those, the, like, uh, the mod, the mods. Yeah, there's she's the, one of the mods. She was the punky mod, but she's also in Yellow Jackets. Yeah, yeah. So that show's coming back soon. I loved the first season of that. That's crazy. That shit's crazy. I enjoyed um, it. Who should so, do the honors uh, tonight? I'll do it. I wasn't here last time, so can I do it? Yeah, you'll see. Some of them yeah. are crossed out, right? And, and the that ones that are crossed what? out means that uh, we already watched it, but I didn't want to take it out hmm. altogether, um, so only we s- wouldn't watch the same one. I only see two crossed out, or maybe oh. three. Did you take out? Is this not the list from last week? It is the list from last week, but people are also able to add into it. Okay, so, so how come I'm only seeing three crossed out? Do you want there to be more than that? Well, those are the only ones that won that had doubles. The one that won, I already moved Uh, out. So probably should have kept that in. Okay, I get you, I get you. All right. Okay, I got one ready to go. Here we go. I almost said who submitted it because I apparently forgot how this show works. Anyways, here we go. Good morning. This is Randy Peon on K-Rez Radio. It's a good day to be indigenous. Let's go to Lester Falls apart at the K-Rez traffic van, broken down at the crossroads since 1972. Ain't no traffic, really. What? We are going! Jeez! Hey, Victor, you need a ride? Uh, yeah. What are you gonna trade for it? We're Indians, remember? We barter. Thomas, you gotta look like a warrior. First of all, quit grinning like an Indian. Indians ain't supposed to smile like that. Get stoic. You gotta look like you just came back from killing a buffalo. But our tribe never hunted buffalo. We were fishermen. The same dances with salmon you know when victor's father walked out 10 years ago he left behind a burning secret that consumed his family now victor is about to leave the reservation for the first time did you guys got your passports but it's the united states that's as foreign as it gets on a search for the (laughs) ways of his tribe thomas Going for help! The importance of family. And the truth about his father. I know how it started. Nobody knows how it started. Oh, it's nobody. Huh? It's the guy that played nobody in you have uh, to remember one Dead thing, Man. Victor. He went oh, back really? To you. That guy, yeah. He's also Weird. in. Uh, because they also uh, said nobody knows how it started, then they showed no. Nope. That, that was weird. He's also in because Reservation Dogs. Yeah. It's like you're yeah. I've not watched that Tonto. show yet. It's more like we're talking about it. Tonto. It's great. <laughs> That's what I've heard. Phantom's on uh, Res Dogs? I didn't know that. That's cool. He, pl- he plays two different characters in. <laughs> wow. Uh, I really need to watch it because, you know. Yeah. You know, those guys, I think it's Reservation Dogs. Um, so. The poll is up. If you didn't okay. like the trailer, you just type one in chat. If you did like it, just type two in chat. It's that easy. So one of the guys that's uh, part of the, you know, Res Dogs was uh, created by a sketch group, I believe, or like a comedy team of different people from native backgrounds. I believe they're in L.A., but some of them are from around here, one or two of them, because um, there's a bunch of reservations around here. But um, 
one of them's from like up about 50 miles away. I forget which guy it is, but yeah. Anyways, but I mean to watch it. But anyways, uh, that was cool. You know, it's it's it, it's interesting, and I, uh, you know, it's I, uh, I've never seen that movie. I've heard it's like uh, historic, you know, because of like uh, who made it and stuff. But I don't know if the trailer was all that exciting. What do you guys think? I I really liked how like cheesy and melodramatic it was. Like, yeah. Uh, I've I've heard of that movie before, never seen it, yeah. and. Uh, I don't know. I I thought that it was like a good mix of like '90s indie. Like I liked the like uh that scene with the two guys trying to get a ride and the yeah the two people in the car like that. Mm-hmm. Um, it's really fun. And then uh uh the like kind of more like cheesy like swelling music and voiceover stuff. It, it just uh struck kind of a uh uh sentimental kind of uh note for me in a, you're right uh, it definitely had uh, th- th- those so kind of scenes yeah for sure i'm i'm giving it a two a, a two points for that one z4 uh, prowls dowser if that's even close to how you say that anyway it says is it weird that native actors in a native movie uh in, in a na- is it weird that native actors in a native made movie refer to themselves as indians um i live in a part of the country where i talk to natives all the time no they uh they they say that about themselves all the time. So some of them don't like to say it. Some of them do. You mm-hmm. know, it, it's just like other cultures and and slang terms. You know, <laughs> so uh, but no, it's I don't think it's all that weird. I thought this movie was about World War Two and Nicolas Cage was in it. That's Wind Talkers, buddy. Oh, I had the wrong movie. Yeah, it's kind of. Uh, I think. Can we call him racist for that? It seems is that a problem little bit racist. <laughs> no. Problematic. <laughs> I uh, sure. I think they should have uh, you know uh, played more into the Native Americans in this. You know, I think didn't know. <laughs> I couldn't tell what it was about. I didn't know that. Uh, just kidding. It was very Native American heavy. Yeah. You know, like they really leaned into it. They're like, well, you fucking should when you're the first team to get to do one. And you never see those. You never, you never see stuff from a native perspective, even still hardly ever. I mean, Reservation Dogs is doing well, but it's also like the only fucking show like that. Uh, uh, Blood Quantum was like this native horror movie. Then the guy fucking died. Unfortunately, he's only like five years older than us. He died from cancer. So no more movies from him. You know what I mean? It's just like, so you, it's still just hard to see their story. So it's great that they can, you know, and even if it's just like a, like Sam said, this kind of melodramatic and kind of goofy comedy looking in some parts. And like, that's great. They should be able to, you know, make one that's, uh, you know, just a goofy nineties comedy movie from their perspective. So, you know what, now that we've talked about it, I'm going to say two points. And I, I will say, I bet the movie is better than the the trailer. I bet mm-hmm. the movie isn't as like cheesy as the trailer is, but I, I also liked the the cheesiness of it. Like that was fun for me to watch. So, you know, like they're trying to sell this thing. Yeah. Well, I didn't like so, it. How how many points are you giving it? Zero points. God, he's racist. Whew. Wow. Um. Someone says, Timmy, any word on all the people missing in South Dakota? That's been in the news that uh, it's uh, it's bad. It's people that from the res go missing. Someone on Reddit posted this joke like, hey, I bet Timmy took him, which it's like, yeah, joke about whatever. But I was like, man, like, that's pretty fucked up. <laughs> like, because it's a lot of like young women and shit. And it's probably sex trafficking, but also just like the fact that people, you know, the government and the cops, especially here, our governor is constantly butting heads with the tribes. And so it's like people don't give a shit. You know, it's uh, it's too bad. Anyways, that um, gave so it that's two points. four from us and two from chat. Oh wait, we got a minus one. Are we doing that whole thing? Yes. Yeah. Even yeah. when even when ones of us even when one of us is being a bigot, we still have to minus one. Yeah. <laughs> so that's five, right? All righty, five. So yeah, that's five. Five for Abby Sally for smoke signals. First one on the board, and it's not even an hour in yet. Wow, Abby Sally. Wow. Uh, I got one. Go, Go for, for it. it, Samuel. Nate, I'm just kidding. I know you're chill. I'm sorry. It's okay. 
I can kisses, take it, Timmy. Kisses, kisses. New Horizons. Cage Dobson is the new kid in the neighborhood. His mom's in love with a jerk. I'm going to be your new father, whether you like it or not. He's not doing so well at his new school. Unless your grades improve in math, I may have to fail you. And his overactive imagination is getting him nothing but trouble. Yes, Fire! just three. <laughs> Life's not looking so great for Gage. I wish I was dead. To be or not to be? Arriba. Until. Who said that? Me, I did, pal. I'm your oh, new God. friend. I help. I dazzle. I make better. Roger Corman and New Horizons Home Video bring you the Holy family shit. fantasy adventure Munchie, the all star Ooh. sequel to the video blockbuster Munchies. Now munchies come to school wait, wait, to help wait. Gage with a few class projects. Is this like a children's Like getting back to like a school a... bully. You're on the No, actually, uh, munchies was another one of those gremlins. Helping robots, Gage like improve his grades. I think we can do better than that. I, I did not know this movie was Thank related. you, bunny kicks. And making a fool out of the principal. Honey muffin. Snuggy bear. <laughs> I'm hot. One large pepperoni pizza coming up. <laughs> but when Munchie tries to get rid of Gage's evil stepfather, things start to get a little out of hand. I have something I'd like to say to you. Hey, uh, the Reynolds this is a lesson in spontaneous combustion. He's been out to sabotage this entire evening. That's ridiculous. You should never ask for anything unless you really want it. So join Munchie and his friends as they soar away on a magical fantasy adventure starring Lonnie Anderson. Give you give whatever it is back to Gage. Andrew Stevens. I've got arrested. Artie Johnson. Could, could you introduce him to me? Jamie McKinnon. Okay, you got me. Where are the cameras? And Dom DeLuise as the voice of Munchie. Hey, sometimes you gotta help people in spite of themselves. Magical, mystical, munchy. <laughs> Jim Wynorski. Oh, man. It said directed by Jim Wynorski. He made Chopping Mall and Death Stalker. Ah. Death Stalker 2. Death Stalker 1 is uh, kind of rapey and weird. Death Stalker 2 is fucking awesome. Anyways, he's he's a, he's one of those uh, lesser known cool genre guys. Anyways, that trailer was great. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I, I do think it gave too much away. I think it went too far into the story. <laughs> no, it did. I mean, look, okay. the, the narrator starts explaining the story at the end, and then they show the flying car. It's like, yo, man. Well, flying car. I don't, I don't know how the, the stepdad's evil. Right. It's just like, like, like they, so they didn't give that away. You know, <laughs> yeah. they just call him evil. You, you know, know what? Like, it, yeah, think about this. You're right. Because at the start, he has like, his mom's in love with a jerk. So he goes from jerk to evil in two and a half minutes. <laughs> so, yeah, there's a whole, there's something going on there we don't know about. <laughs> uh, Nate, what'd you think? I liked it. I liked it. it I, I, it wasn't like gooby level. But it was close. The Dom um, DeLuise character is just, it was very funny to me. Hey, uh, some people are saying that we're in front of the scoreboard. Is there a way to put it in front of us somehow? Sam's head is in front of it. Yeah, but then like, you, like you the scoreboard's it... covering Sam's face. People don't need to know. They can see they can see yes or no, and they can see the number of what the thing is. They don't need the graphic in the middle. You can also see the percentage. Yeah, they can see everything right. they need to see. You can see so everything you need to see. They just can't see that, the line. Fuck you. Well, yeah, uh, it was like one or two people. And, you know, it's the Internet. I, so I had to complain about something Re real quick. Uh, Cop 70 in chat you. says, says, Tim, you still got my golf clubs. Yeah, it's man. my old neighbor. Yes, I do still have your golf clubs and yeah. I will mail them to you sometime. We'll, we'll work it out. Uh, people call you Tim in real. Do people call you Tim in real life? Yeah, man. So do you. You call you've called me Tim Timothy. before. You do not I know, call and me I, and I, I, When I call you Tim, I feel bad and I correct it. I'm like, sorry. No, I no, no. no. Here's the thing is, t Timmy is like comedy. At this point in my life, Timmy's like comedy, whitest kids. And then I'm kind of Tim and everything else, you know? Here. Just mm. don't call me late for dinner. So, uh, you know. Um, shout out to Never Speak from the Discord for doing custom CSS for the poll. Hell yeah, little... thank you very much. So uh and so I'm giving that two points, by the way. That was fun. You got Dom Deloise in there. Uh it's some sort of I like that they're trying to rip off Gremlins and ET at the same time. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, 
<laughs> also, the move of showing the uh, showing the um, poster for the mo- for the first movie in the trailer is a really funny move. Yeah, that's like, weird. That was weird. You you well, don't tell me about know the this first movie, movie so a, we'll show you the first. The... Uh, should we do a quick deep dive? About what? Rabbit hole that shit, Sam. Ra- rabbit hole, yeah. Uh, here we. I'll just look up the. I'm curious to see see the vibe of mun- uh, munchies. All right, this came out in 1987, so we're not going to vote on this. This is just f- for context. Um, let's see. Here we go. Sweetwater, a new and inviting desert community. Violation! This is going to be a great day. Filled with kind and loving families. But I am your stepson. I don't know what treated you like it was, didn't I? Oh, with oh also a stepdad, huh? What the fuck? And yeah, then well, one big day, hammer. It's a uh, allegory. Something Symbolic. odd appeared. <laughs> this is incredible. Exactly what they are is uncertain. I'm South American cockroach dad. I'm out of here. Their origins... He's dressed like Marty McFly. This is the same set from House 2, the second story. It's like their manner can be quite charming. So cute. Can't we take him out of the bag now? Their habits can be a little bizarre. (laughs) What? I haven't done anything yet. (laughs) But you'd better treat them right. (laughs) You're not laughing anymore, are you, pal? Because they're not necessarily nice. He's got a gun. Munchies! Oh, they drive a gremlin. Yeah, this is, yeah, this is definitely Gremlins Robot. <laughs> Wait, so did Munchie look like these guys? Not really. No. You know what? Munchie looked like a, like a little like fox. I bet it was a Troll 2 situation. When they were yeah, making this movie, they were like, just Martini. say it's a sequel. Go from war. What now? Lizzie P. Martin from, from the War. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The manager, right? Munchies. He's supposed to be the manager. Are we going to vote for this trailer, too? No, we're not voting. No, no, we're not. So, so trying to get some context. Two points from from me, two points from Timmy, right, Nate? Are we, we're going back. Oh, yeah, we're talking about Munchie now, not this one. As well. okay. so two points as well. Two points as well. And then six from us. chat. Five from no, us. No, five. And then chat gave it two points, so that's seven points. Nice. That was close. That was almost going, three points from chat. Going to beach that makes you old. Very good. Old. Do you want to explain um, how the chat points happen, Sam? The percentages oh, yeah. and stuff. I think we missed that part. Yep. Oh yeah. Uh, you you vote you vote one for no, two for yes, and uh, if it gets. Uh, uh, the trailer gets between tw- uh, 75 and 100 percent of the audience. It gets or 99 percent of the audience gets three points. If it gets between 50 and 74, it gets two points. If it gets between 25 and 49, it gets one point. If it gets between uh, uh, zero and 24, zero points. And if it gets 100 percent, we'll give it four points. It hasn't happened yet, but if it gets Perfect score. It has a we'll give Naked it Gun had like 99%. Yeah. Yeah, that was a good trailer. So, I mean, I good. imagine when you guys watched it last week, chat uh, couldn't see what it was. They didn't see the title on the screen, so they had no fucking clue, right? Yeah. That's great. My only beef with the later Leslie Nielsen Naked Gun stuff is he started doing the mugging too much, which is like... He was supposed to be doing the opposite of that. You know what I mean? That was his whole thing. So, yeah. I don't know. Caffeinated OG is rated. Hey, thank you, Ooh. OG. How you doing? Sam, you got a song for how many? How many people did Caffeinated OG rate? Brought, does rated it matter, with a party Sam? of four. What? It does matter, yeah. Rated four. with a party of four. Four, okay. Caffeinated OG. Oh, no. 
you caffeinated OG. You're rated with four, and you're gonna get a song some more. Ah, ah. Every time he sings, we should let him not like that. We take away one trailer selection. <laughs> you ready? Speaking of trailers, I'm, Timmy, I'm like singing. It's your turn, man. They raid. It's your turn, Nate. I just want to make sure you guys are ready. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Oh, I was gonna do this one. Sweet. I'm randomly choosing numbers. Oh, that's okay. I have another one picked out. So it's like... I love people trying to guess what it is. Some tales are told. Then soon Did it pause forgotten. for you guys? No. Oh. Yeah. Okay. But a legend is forever. <laughs> Leatherface. <laughs> Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3. Now. From the producers of A Nightmare on Elm Street, the real terror begins November 3rd. That's That was a great trailer. And so, Timmy, let me ask you this. As yeah. a <clears throat> horror aficionado, mm -hmm. that's considered the best one, right? Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I thought... I'm confused. I'm confused, though, because I thought Timmy was a horror aficionado. I'm both. Oh no, no, you're a you're a connoisseur. You're a horror, a horror aficionado, a, a connoisseur aficionado. of horrors. Right. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Yeah. is this the Matthew McConaughey one, Timmy? No, uh, this no. one. Here, here's the thing. So three is the one that kind of doesn't get talked about as much, but it is. I think. Yeah, I, I've never really heard of this. Yeah. Okay. So. Uh, Four is the one with McConaughey. And I actually think this one is much better. In both cases, they take way too fucking long to get to uh, much of anything. But this one I just found was actually ended up being a little more enjoyable for me, even though I was so looking so much looking forward to the McConaughey. But here's the deal. This one, which you don't know, which no one knows, Viggo Mortensen. A young Viggo Mortensen plays one of the crazy redneck Sawyer people in this one. And he's just, oh. so he, he's fucking great. I mean, you know, he's a great actor too. So, um, and it has him fighting Ken Foree with chainsaws in like a pit outside to like speed metal music <laughs> towards the end. So Ken Foree would be, uh, he's from Dawn of the Dead and has done several other horror movies, but he, he's in uh, Texas Chainsaw. So this one's not without its merits. I mean, you can't be one and two. I mean, one's, you know, perfect. One is and so two's, good. And two's like... Terrific. Yeah. I love we too, watched so. um the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and I think is that PG thirteen? <laughs> no, that was our mm -hmm. that was our already. Oh, I mean it doesn't have a lot of like gore it might have been, in it. Um it's yeah, just but really it's it has a lot up. of really scary parts to it. Yeah. I um, mean and we watched that and it was the like the guy cuts his hand and stuff. I don't know. The the meat yeah. hook? Yeah, do the meat hook and stuff. The dinner. But you don't I really mean, see a lot like the so we you watch see an it, old was, guy drinking blood off her fingers and stuff. Yeah, yeah, but you know? it's not you know, in, in horror, as somebody that hadn't really seen it since, you know, I was a little kid, we watched it on Halloween. I was surprised how not graphically gory it was because that's what I'm used to in other horror movies. And I was like, wow, this is they don't show you a lot. You know, you see mm -hmm. like you don't see somebody getting ripped open. You see somebody hanging on a hook, but you don't really see all of it happen, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and there were some jump scares in there that got me. Like, there's one of the clips of my channel is me being like, okay, they're running through the woods. Like, ah! You know, like, right. I, I, I thought that was a great, great movie. Um, um, uh, so that was, so it was made 50 years ago. So, and a lot of that kind of stuff, even though it, in some ways it might be milder than what you see in a horror movie now, it was the first time people had seen stuff like that in a lot of ways. And I think the grossness and all the meat stuff and the eating, uh, you know, it, it makes it that way. But here I just looked up. It is interesting. Well, Go ahead, Sam. It, it, it like, it has this whole like, kind of like, 
I would say like a vegan motif in it. Yes, you know, like yep. it, it, it's very like meat is murder, mm -hmm. the whole thing. Uh, and uh, one one of the things that I think is is very interesting uh, about that movie, like, and it's because you know we're not the the traditional horror slasher uh, structure hadn't been made yet, but you know we're used to seeing. I think one of the reasons it stands the test of time is like we're used to seeing these movies where you got a group of people and like one by one they all mm -hmm. get picked off. That movie you have like like five people and like in the first half hour four of them die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, you're yeah. spending the rest of the movie with one person trying to stay alive. And there's something yeah, like great. that's like so kind of like claustrophobic about yeah. that in a good way. So, yeah, I agree. So here, here's the deal. And actually, so uh, Nate, Toby Hooper, who is the brains behind Texas Chainsaw. I want to say this real quick, then respond to a completely ridiculous comment in chat real quick. Then we can move on. Hooper reportedly uh, hoped that the Motion Picture Association would give the complete uncut release print a PG rating. This is before they had PG-13. So he was hoping it'd be a PG rating due to its minimal amount of visible gore. Instead, and this is what I was getting at, it, it, even without the gore, here's what happened. Instead, it was originally rated X, <laughs> and after several minutes were cut, it was resubmitted and got an R rating. So so that's the point. Like, you know, Toby was kind of on the same page. You are, although there's not a lot of gore in it, but like even what was there was just new to these people, you know? So that's why it still got rated X originally. That's fucking crazy, man. Um. So somebody said, well, remember, most of the Jason movies are rated PG-13. That's just completely false. Uh, I also <laughs> Googled that to make sure. Only what – and I found an article. Is there any one that could be rated PG-13? Part 6, which is also maybe my favorite one, is the only one to not show nudity. So that one maybe could. But I mean – but Part 6 also starts pretty fucking gory with Jason zombie corpse and stuff. So – but whoever said, like, remember, they're all PG-13 is just like, like, I love it when people on the Internet just like confidently just spew bullshit like it's a fact. It's great. So anyways, I still like you. Yeah. I, I still like you, too, whoever you were. Oh, this was two points. Didn't I say that? Anyways, I loved it. Sam? Uh, two points. Yeah. Yeah. That is great. Points, I said two points. And then mm -hmm. chat gave it three points. That is. Fuck yeah. Uh, that's eight. Three. Let's go. Yeah, man. Two. Dark bastard. Bastard. All righty. So I feel like maybe we've seen this on another episode, but I could be wrong. Anyway, it's okay. A lot of things, you know, it's been a while. Different categories. You know, it's been two you know, years. Some people whatever. in chat will be like, I'm not going to vote mm -hmm. for this because we've already seen it, but you know, vote your heart. Here we go. <clears throat> Loyalties have shifted. Eminies and enemies have grown. <laughs> Eminies have grown. Still count on one man. <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, look at that. This isn't even... The world's most it's... debonair hero. Yeah! Wow. It's the world is a bad Can be found it's where the action is. His name is Dunstan. He's conducting covert oh, operations. Romancing <laughs> irresistible women. Oh, that's just how I like it. And facing unimaginable danger. So Dunstan, the Dunstan sex with people? checks in. Yeah. yeah. Guys and girls. Oh, more. I He's like it. Oh. Look at that. That's a quick one. Oh, Jason Alexander is in it. Um. Sam, since I'm a whore connoisseur, I will tell you, yeah, I mean, monkey whores like Dunstan, they come at a high price. <laughs> um, oh. The poll is live now. One for no. <laughs> for yes. Anybody who votes no is a fucking narc. Um, um, Timmy, great. before you were on Trailer Boys, mm -hmm. we actually were working on... We, we do have some Trailer Boys merch in progress mm -hmm. that it, it looks like Shockma. Uh -huh. The shock my phone, yeah, but yeah. it says Dunstan. Uh -huh. Oh and my god! Jackson, instead of like a orangutan or whatever kind of uh, uh, primate, uh, mm -hmm. Shockma was. It's, it's Shockma like was some sort of, of 
That'd Dunstan's be, Dunstan's an orangutan. Dunstan's uh, orangutan. Shock was about her. A mandrill. Is it a mandrill? Maybe. Oh, a mandrill. Oh. Maybe they're similar. Anyways, uh, yeah. But yeah. That's, so that's our uh, Trailer that's Boys merch to be released. Is our Dunstan Shockma. So you guys have watched the Dunstan trailer before? Oh, you're, like you're, you're, oh, you're no, just gonna I honestly, have it. You're just Timmy, I had COVID. No, I th- I think we did, but like a very very early episode. Okay. Well, anyways, I liked it. I liked, uh, I liked that it was a. I like the James Bond thing. Now here, here notice this. Now we the, we watched the the Winnie trailer from last week. Pretended to be a different trailer. We're only a few in tonight, and we've already seen two that parody other movie trailers at the beginning. That was a big '90s trend, apparently. Huh? Trend, yeah, yeah. I guess. Um, anyways, I give this one two points. But Sam, you and I, uh, having hung out with Trevor and Darren a lot, know a lot about animal movies and. Uh, isn't it weird that this one starts out with a James Bond thing, but then a few years later they made Spy Mate, which was about that was a chimpanzee, but that was about a monkey spy. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if they if 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 someone was watching this and they were like, "Oh, I want to I want to see that movie." Oh, more monkey spies. With the monkey spy, yeah. Let me. Punish War says parody movie. was hot in the '90s, as evidenced by the Blink movies. Well, those are all in the 2000s, but uh, I see what you're saying. Um, Maybe the first, uh, sc- well, maybe the first scary movies were, but the, the other blank ones. movies, and you're correcting him on not even naming the movies. Well, <laughs> he means he means the the movies is what he means. The the date movies. Yeah, the yeah, the date movies. But scary, scary movie, movies. I think maybe that did start in the '90s, but um, a lot of them were. Say, scary movie was 2000. There you go. Um, but anyways, but but the Does reason know scary, what scary movie, movie those- year was what year was that? It just came up, 2000. They all said it. They all looked it up. Um, but, so that would have been the first one of the movies ones, but there's tons of those, tons of parodies in the 90s, and you're right. Mel Brooks was uh, – he went a little less satirical and clever in the 90s and started doing more broad parodies. Leslie Nielsen, after making the really brilliant ones in the 80s, was doing a lot of parodies, and uh, I feel like there's somebody else too. But uh, yeah, because Mel Brooks did what Robin Hood men in tights – Dracula dead and loving it. Have you guys seen that? That stars Leslie Nielsen. It's Mel Brooks and Leslie Nielsen. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, Nielsen plays uh, Dracula and uh Mel Brooks plays Van Helsing, which in which elevator pitch. Here's, here's the money, but I don't know. The movie had some funny parts. What's his name playing? um, Peter McDiggle is really funny in that. Nate and I saw that one in, in theaters. Oh, you did. Did you guys like it? Yeah, I liked it. I I, re- I remember the, the bit where uh, the I think it's Stephen Weber is is driving a stake through the the yeah, girl's he's, heart. He's Jonathan, I and, think. Yeah, and they they do this whole like like too much blood bit, and it's uh, pretty good. Pretty good yes. bit. Yeah, that part's funny. And Peter McNichol has the, I always forget the, Renfield, he's Renfield, that's funny. Uh, someone says, Hot Shots and Naked Gun are pretty Larity. I think they meant parody, but I'd like, to, what if you just made parodies about a guy named Larry? Anyways, Naked Gun was actually in the 80s, though. All the sequels are in the 90s, but Hot Shots, that's another one. Yeah, and yeah. Part Two. Oh, man. What do you, what you shake in your head at? What'd you shake your head at? <laughs> it's such a Timmy thing. Actually, those were in the eighties, but the sequels were in the nineties. Well, like, when people, I just don't like when say. people. Well, okay, we're doing a theme night of the nineties, and people are trying to reference things and not being in the wrong year, uh, in the right year, or uh, saying that a famously R-rated series is PG thirteen. I don't want to correct everybody. But when people just want to just broadly be wrong, I think they should be pointed out and made fun of, you know? So Hey, everyone. It's a uh, basketball night on Trailer Boys. Yeah, that's right. All night long, we're watching Timmy dunk on chat. <laughs> <laughs> Boom goes the dynamite. And uh, goes the dynamite. Chat goes right. dynamite. Gave, that, gave that two points. Two for me. Uh, two. All right. Five. So is that eight again? I am going to give it. Oh, you son of a bitch! One point. You think it needed more animal sex? You know, with what? humans. I, I, I also humans. like oh, that. Sorry, oh, I'm going to give it two points. It changed my mind. 
All right, man. Eight points. Did you say chat gave it three, Sammy? Two. I gave it two. It's seven points. But we're giving it five. Ready? Didn't you just but say you're giving it two points, Nate? Off. Yeah. I'm yeah, which is points. five plus two. Oh, so it's seven. Plus two. Okay. So it's seven points. Actually, to me, it's seven Jesus points. Jesus Christ. Okay. Am you're I doing ready? that too much? If I'm not being nice to chat, I can go if you want me to go. <laughs> no, I don't want you to go. All this right. Well, show. I mean, dude, when this people is the show, Timmy. I know, but when people make uh, are like just blatantly wrong, it's like I'm trying to I'm not trying to like make them feel bad, except for that Friday the Thirteenth person. Uh, the rest of them, I'm just, just trying to help people understand things. Anyways, I just that was rarely seven get points. the math right, Timmy. The I, Jay I rarely Nihilist. get the math right. You Chad rarely get the math right. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, then, uh, good job on getting that seven right, my man. You know. Ready? See, look at this. Now someone's making fun of me, saying in all caps and quotes, "Someone is wrong on the internet." OMG, must I must be a savior? You know what? Time out. Don't, don't let him get to to me. Oh, oh wow. no! Seriously, come on. But we just well, we just uh, talked about it. So it's suck okay. a fucking butthole. Uh, well, sorry, Baca, who we all like, says I like Timmy fixing misconceptions because otherwise it's me annoyed in the comments. See. Lobaca. That's how to do it. That's how to do it, everyone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you 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 fix that misconception of that person being able to vote on this next movie. Uh, <laughs> Whatever, they're clearly just here to troll. They didn't have any. They didn't have any things in front of their name. You know what I mean? So I you guys I, ready? I just showed up. Yeah. All right. Oh. From the director of Top Gun and Beverly Hills Cop 2. Oh, I didn't know that. Hello, yeah. baby. Yeah, man. I'm a married man. Tony buddy. Scott. <laughs> a con man. Ask him if he got the letter. Did you get the letter? What letter? He wants to talk to you. No, Tom, tell him we gotta go. A call girl. You call for a day? Huh? Ah! I'm out of She a four alarm fire or what? She seems very nice. What are you doing in L.A. anyway, huh? And a suitcase full of trouble. My name is Vincent Cocotti. I work as consul for Mr. Blue Lou Boyle, the man your son stole from. Now, all that stands between them and their wildest dreams. First Smith. Find out who this winging of prayer artist is. And yeah. Take, them off at the take me to the other side. Yeah. Are 60 cops. I think so. Val Kilmer's in this too, right? Uh, he plays Elvis. Elvis. And uh, oh, kid Clarence, I like him. 30 mobsters close to uh, oh, our co star in a show that never made it. Saul Rubin is in this movie, yeah. and a few thousand bullets. And uh, oh, we're gonna die here. These are cops. James Gandolfi there he is. Saul Rubin, yeah, there's Saul. James Gandolfini's great in this scene. Yeah. Oh, there's so, so many fucking people. Size more, yeah. No, no, no. Uh, Christian Slater, Jimmy. Patricia Arquette. Dennis oh. Harper, Val Kilmer, yeah, that guy. Gary Oldman, Gary Oldman. Brad this Pitt, is Gary Oldman's best. Christopher role. Walken. Slow it down, man. Samuel Jackson's a very film. small part too. Yeah. I think what you did, I think what you did, was so romantic. Not since Bonnie and Clyde have two people been so good at being bad. True romance. I've seen the movie. Yeah. Um, what, uh, you know what's weird is watching that trailer, right. knowing it's a Tarantino movie, you know, and it's like so not, and obviously he didn't direct it, but he wrote it. And like, so it's just not marketed at all in the style that everybody was going to start marketing shit after Pulp Fiction came out. You know, it's kind of interesting. But yeah, that, that was a cool trailer. I thought that was rad. Um, yeah, that's rad. I uh, a a good song choice still. Take me to the other side's a really funny cheesy song. Yeah. Uh, uh, I I you know like it was a very enjoyable trailer and it is very different from what the movie is. It's kind of like it's not like misleading, but it's very different. But Pacing it is was different. fun mm -hmm. in its own right. Like, it yeah. was like, it, you know, um, oh, take me to the other side. No, no, no. You, you only get to do, do that. Do, 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 do. 
You only do that when somebody raids. But now that we're mentioning Steven Tyler's voice, I just want to say oh, that was in, for Flanja. Oh, well, in the '90s, maybe late late '90s, maybe it was early 2000s. But there was a Gap commercial. They did a series of Gap commercials that was just a white background and some celebrity or musician singing, right? And there was one that was Steven Tyler. And then Joe Perry, and I don't even know if Joe Perry was playing guitar, right? They're, they're just kind of sitting there. One was maybe playing a bongo. And I just remember, uh, I feel like their slogan at the time was, this is easy or something, right? It's like, going to the Gap is easy. You can find the clothes you want. So I just remember this song, this, this commercial with Aerosmith, and it's just Stephen Tyler going, <laughs> this is beyond easy. That's like the whole fucking commercial. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you guys remember that. that? Does that ring a bell? Oh man. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I remember Steven that. Steven Tyler. Uh, so that trailer was pretty good, man. I mean, here's the thing. Maybe I get too thirsty on these, but Patricia Arquette in that. I mean, in the whole movie, but it, they make it clear in the trailer that it's like it doesn't really matter what else is happening. She likes. I mean, that's like you know, she's great in that movie, and also just you know, bam, bam, you know. The guitar, okay. <laughs> it's like, it's like, are you guys? This is beyond easy. <laughs> oh, easy fit jeans, okay. What are you wearing? Box, gross, dude. They're that's like they're like subway <laughs> performers, right? I, like yeah. I want someone to walk by in the background and drop a couple bucks in a paint bucket for them. Yeah, those dudes busking. look like they just smell they're like pussy. Trevor and I, and uh, many years ago, were at the Union Square station and saw. Well, like we we were kind of drunk and we started laughing. We didn't want to laugh at him because we actually liked what he was doing. But it was this guy. He had a, he had like a gut a guitar and a little amp. And he had a harmonica like hooked up, you know, to his face. And he also had uh, a cymbal on like a little uh, a hi hat kind of thing that he was hitting with his foot. So it was like a one man band kind of thing. But the music he was doing is just like late at night. And I think he was just fucking around. He was like this old man who was going, do, 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 chink, ho, 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 on the, on the harmonica. It's just do, 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 do. One tambourine hit, ho, ho, ho. It was great. But that kind of reminds me of that. <laughs> so. Anyways, this is beyond easy. Uh, oh, you know what? I think the only celebrity that is in that movie that they didn't show, Bronson Pinchot has a great role in that movie. Yeah, he's great in that. So yeah. funny. He gets a Coke in his face, right? Yeah, Man. yeah, yeah. He crashes the car. Um, in fact, Zach has said that that, that shot was his uh, one of his influences for the shot that, where you first see Justin Long's character in Barbarian. Like uh, I can see oh, yeah. the same car. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, what would you give? Uh, I kind of torn. I really liked it. I don't think it was quite. I mean, it was pretty good, man. I'm kind of feeling I'm, a one, but I don't know. I feel like I'm giving I'm, it two points. I thought it was great. I, they yeah, put a lot in there. It is it, really it good. Didn't it's really colorful. It detracts from the movie. You no, know, it doesn't it give away like the plot at saying. all. Yeah. Um, which is you great. You see a lot of people. Mm -hmm. I, I like that they even put like Val Kilmer in the trailer when like you yeah. see the movie. He's like barely in it. But, uh, did they mention Brad Pitt in the trailer? I bet they didn't because he wasn't a did. star. They did. Right? They, they did? did? Oh, wow. Yeah. The highlight when he was on the couch, it's like his only scene. Yeah. Oh, he's so funny. Yeah. You guys want to come in and watch some TV or something? <laughs> yeah god he's funny in that oh, and, and, just, you know what you're the guys <laughs> is that the mob the mobsters right that's what he says that yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> god he's funny um the movie was better yeah. than the trailer mythic but it was still a good trailer two points what nate it's a really good michael rapaport yeah uh get yeah. that guy off the roof He's in the yeah. audition. If you think about we, we it, we watch this like really bad. Oh yeah. <sighs> if you think about it, most of the people in that movie, that's like one of their best roles. I mean, Christopher Walken's monologue is great, or his little part, uh, Dennis Hopper's monologue. You know what I mean? Yeah, Hopper was problematic. In a weird spot. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's true. Uh, Kevin scripts. Corrigan. 
Yes, Kevin Corgan's the guy. That's who Kevin Cousin Jim. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, hold on. Uh, All right. Uh, yes, it was true romance. Matt isn't a robot asking. Um. Anyways, two points for me. I'm sorry. I was going I'm, back. I'm giving two points. I think Sam was giving two points. Yeah. What is this? Oh, Dick this Reggie. is the audition scene. Jack Reggie! Oh, that's me. I'm me. Come inside. Okay. Oh, that lady. She's in a bunch of stuff, too. She's great. Yeah. Sit. Sit, sit, sit. Now, oh, the part the... you'll be reading for is one of the bad guys. She's the great aunt Brian and Krampus. Marty. Who? Is there a problem? Mm. No. No. Peter Breck's already been cast in the part of uh, Brian, so you'll be reading for the role of Marty. Uh, in this scene, you're both in a car, and Bill Shatner is hanging on the hood. What you want to do is... Get him off. All right, I'm Morty. Ready? Yeah. Okay. I'm driving. <laughs> okay. Where the fuck did he come from? I don't know. He just appeared like magic. Well, don't just sit there. Shoot him. <laughs> Get him. Thank you, Mr. Ritchie. <laughs> I'm very impressed. <laughs> You're a very fine actor. Thank you. Thank you. I'll let you know. Okay. God, I fucking hated auditioning <laughs> so much. Up. That's so yeah. funny. You're a very fine actor. Shoot him. Where the fuck yeah, is he? Yeah, he's, he's auditioning for, like, TJ Hooker, Hooker, the next generation. Yeah. yeah. Or, yeah. Something like that. Yeah. All right, you ready for another trailer? Oh, wait, wait. Yeah, um, uh, it is your turn, Let's go up points. Uh, Chat gave oh, that Jesus. three points. Um, uh, uh, did we all sure. give it two? I gave it two. That's five. That's another I'm eight pointer. I give it two. Okay. So it's, yeah, another eight pointer. Sammy. Let's see. Um, that's that? going to tight butt zero. Type but zero. Nice but job. Zero. Type but zero. Type but zero. Get the camera. Oh, my God. Introducing the 5 megapixel Cybershot T1 from Sony. The great little camera with a great big screen. Cybershot from Sony. Like no other. I loved that. <laughs> Welcome back to Trailer Boys, brought to you by Cybershot from Sony. Uh, I just hey, love that. Real quick. Huh. Real this quick. has all brought up a Steven Tyler story from my life, which is uh, kind of funny. It's real quick. So back when I was married and living in Oregon, uh, my wife at the time and I were here. We bought a car for my dad and we drove it back because my dad was a used car salesman. And then we bought a, a little pickup from my dad. And so we drove it back to Portland. And so uh, we stopped for the first night in the Black Hills, South Dakota, Rapid City, also near Sturgis, right? And so my friend, uh, his grandpa had this very nice house. His dad, his grandpa was well off. He had this very nice house that he, uh, during the Sturgis big motorcycle rally, uh, some of the musicians that would play Sturgis would rent his house. And Steven Tyler, whenever Aerosmith was was at Sturgis, which happened every once in a while, Steven Tyler would play. And, um, and, and he would uh, rent this guy's house. So he's like, you guys didn't have the room that Steven Tyler used. I'm like, cool. <laughs> he's like, see that little brown spot over there? We're like, yeah. He's like, that's where Steven Tyler's chihuahua shit on the floor. <laughs> so Ooh. that's my connection. Like we, didn't <laughs> we didn't yeah, clean it. Yes, like, we because... just left it there because he's famous. Yeah. And his but, dog is famous. Oh, Sturgis is where Steven Tyler like fell off the stage at one one time and like hurt himself really bad. Do you guys remember that? It was like he like broke something. He did, yeah. Anyways, broke Anyways. a lot of hearts, right? Yeah, and his <laughs> and probably his hip. All right, you ready? What do we got, man? Mm -hmm. <sighs> <laughs> Have you seen this? No, I just saw the title. It was mommy's little angel. Baby Bink is not a regular. Oh, I, I love her. And Daddy's pride and joy. Bye bye. Whoa, bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. But Baby Bink was born. So when the big city called, Baby Bink had to answer. 
20th Century Fox invites you to see the world through the eyes of a child. Is that Julia Gullia's fiance? No, he's off on an adventure. Our sources tell us that a baby boy know. got up and oh, yeah, away I think from it his is. home this morning. The family has offered a reward of oh. $5 million. Oh. Baby tracks. Love those guys. Babies are obviously more dangerous than we thought. I see him. What? He made this after he was on the 49ers, right? Who is that? The baby was Joe Montana. No, uh, Joe Montana. <laughs> that guy. That's Joe Montana. Fucking <laughs> Bora. Well, that's better than what I was going to say because I thought it was Chaz Palmentary. <laughs> I get mean, them mixed up all the time. That's racist. <laughs> is, I guess, true. <laughs> Eddie. He's I love that actor. He's, that guy. He's, 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 he's got some good roles. Step on it. He's in Mars Attack. Starboard side. I feel like... I'm not sure if this is right, but I feel like there was a point where Thomas Hayden Church you know about left vehicle? wings. Yes. And I feel like that guy replaced him. You left the engine wow. Room. I've been is having... That, a, does that make really sense? Trouble. No idea. Just stop by to admire. I mean, the anything can make sense oh, in Hollywood. Well, I'm, thro I'm throwing that out to chat. Yeah. Just talking. It really seemed weird where he was hiding the baby on his lap with a coat. Yeah. 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 And then bit it, and he was like, oh. There. This trailer's too long. They're giving too much away. This is my crotch baby. Yeah. Which is the weird because. I the movie is about you, was too. the creator of Home Alone. John Hughes. I live. You died. Yeah, yeah, he had a out. heart attack at the park, didn't he? No, I'm saying like he just started making all these like children Directed movies. Directed by Patrick Reed Johnson. I don't know. Oh, that is Joey, was... Joey Pants. You know, the, the trailer wasn't yeah. high quality. I thought it was just a guy that looked like Joey Pants. All right. But also, oh, no, Joey yeah, Pants yeah. wasn't even, like, they didn't even show any lines or anything from him. He was just... Wait, yeah. And didn't Joey Pants have exactly the same role in Goonies? <laughs> <laughs> the same fucking guy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and man. in The Matrix, he was kind of the same, too. Yeah, but this is literally <laughs> part of a trio chasing a child around, you know? <laughs> it's like this, Just like yeah, his you're character right. in The Sopranos. What about, yeah. <laughs> Maybe he's not a good now actor. Huh? Maybe that's just who he is. I don't know. He's a little different in Bound, isn't he? Uh, I only remember I one mean, scene from Bound and he wasn't in it. <laughs> I guess in... Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> in Risky Business, he, he was chasing a child around, but it was like Tom Cruise. Um, that trailer. I just feel like we've started so strong. I'm I'm starting to weaken on things, and yeah, uh, it's pretty good. I still feel like I'm giving it a one. Um, you know what's interesting? I feel like it's. Uh, I mean, we found out John Hughes is involved, so that explains why it feels like Home Alone. Uh, and I'll, obviously, look who's talking. That movie series, a series, uh, was an influence on this. But also, I felt it almost had almost a Babe Pig in the City quality, a slight surrealness to it. You know what I mean? So, Burn Troy anyways. played the baby to me. <laughs> Wait, what? That's what Grimward said. I'm not even going to fact check him on it. He's going to believe him. They're, well, but they showed an actual baby, a whole bunch. CGI. In 1994, CGI. Unless you're Jurassic Park. Come on. It wasn't that good. I don't know. Hey, Nick. Words rarely wrong. I'm not going to correct anybody anymore because apparently that makes me a huge asshole. So I'm not going to say anything. But he's dead. Uh, Whose turn is it? Who just picked that one out? Was that Nate? Uh, we, did we vote? Oh, we didn't vote. I'm giving it one. 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 So it's two points from us. Has given it point as well okay that's three uh, points going to what's that one called baby's day out baby's day out the, baby's there's a hippo is that a person no there's somebody else three points going to awa stork awa oh okay mm. 
Mm. All right, is it my turn? Mm. I got one. I'm mm. excited for it too. Timmy. So what? What we said when people? Oh, ooh, ooh is that what you wanted? Sorry. Um, when you uh, we've we said this a few uh, a couple episodes ago, but when you submit, you can say which one. You know, if you have multiple submissions, you can say which one is your your choice. If we if we haven't already seen it, right? You know how people have, remember to do that sometimes. Yeah, mm-hmm. people are. Am I muted? That, yeah. What is happening? Huh? No, 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 no. I, I was waiting for you to finish. I was trying not to cut you I off. I was finished. Um. Well, you know, I guess we're at a weird impasse because then if you don't cut me off, I think you're dead. <laughs> All right, I'll just keep cutting you off. I'm just kidding, man. It's fun. <laughs> Anyways, this person submitted two trailers for the same movie but they said this one's actually better so use this one so anyways uh i think they submitted one and then found this one so here we go this summer our world will come under attack the mayor has declared a state of emergency by the most evil force ever known he has armies at his command and only one power on earth can stop him welcome to my nightmare is it like two of them are dead and one's in jail the ultimate adventure begins this group did not do well Younger siblings in this movie, I do not remember the sexy cable parts. More action. More adventure. Hell yeah, look at that. More power. The ooze is back. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the movie. Yeah, that was fucking ripper. That was a really good trailer, dude. Uh, can, can I can I start with this? Yes, yeah, go. I, I am taking a point off. Oh, because uh, I would give it two points, but I'm just going to give it one Why? because they have the 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 voiceover had a golden opportunity. Tunity. Uh, it said uh, more action, uh, more excitement. Mm-hmm. More power, and then it should have gone more fin time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know. but I, here's the thing, man. The visual cavalcade. It was a cavalcade. Like I didn't even it? notice that there was a cavalcade. Cavalcade. Well, however you fucking say that. Anyways. There was so much going on in that trailer. I didn't even notice that. I would have had that critique too had I paid attention. But, you know, uh, there was ninjas. Then there was like splatting guys. And then, like I said, there's a sexy cave girl who I've seen this movie. Don't remember that part at all. There was like robots. You know, it was awesome. Uh, Ivan Ooze. Yeah. That was cool. The splat of the guys, you know? Yeah, that's Um, a great idea. It sounded like it was the song Black Betty. But then it was like, was that a sound alike? (laughs) I don't know. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the other thing about, you know, the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers TV show, uh, a lot of the guys that worked as second unit or stunt coordinators on that went on to become some of the better, uh, you know, action and uh, martial arts directors now because they actually, like, they actually took the those fight scenes sort of seriously where they actually shot them well so you could see everybody and like you know they were choreographed and it was silly but you know it was like how i it was kind of like how the old batman show adam west had great fight choreography but anyways um i love that trailer two points easily what is uh what's chat doing chat's liking it is too. It, isn't the origin of the show that it was a uh, Japanese show. Yeah, and, and they like cut they pieces. It was took, called something else. They just took all the the live action part or all the parts without the costumes and mm-hmm. reshot Hi-tipos. those parts. And gave them to some American kids. I was gonna say white kids, but no, they actually weren't all white kids. So I like the follow up that Saban did. Crew. Remember what that one was called? 
Well, there's a whole bunch of Power Rangers shows. No, this was we, not Power Rangers. You talk about Beetleborgs? Big, no, it was made like by the, Saving Films. I think it was called like right. TV Voids or something like that. What was it? No. It was it was like a techno, not techno music, but it was like VR Troopers. Thank you, Silent Alley. Oh, VR yeah. Troopers, yeah that, that VR Troopers is pretty dope. Um, I think Big Bad Beetleborgs was later. It was all, there were so many of those shows after the, you, you know what's crazy? Um, they made, because Mighty Warfare Power Rangers, the show was so popular. They made a Ninja Turtles show like in the style of Power Rangers. And they even gave them a fifth member. It was a girl turtle named Venus de Milo. Right. And it, I don't think it went very long, but it was basically like Power Rangers only. It was like turtles, the Ninja Turtles. It was live action and like with goofy costumes and stuff. And you know what's I even weird liked is the remake of this, the movie that came out like the last 10 years. Oh, or the so. serious one? I didn't see that. Yeah, yeah. No, I liked it. I, was it I, good? Was so, it pretty? Was it serious? Yeah. I mean, serious as. Power Rangers is right, but, but know, it was way more it. like um, you know, uh, dark the or whatever. technology and stuff was better. But uh, I mean, this came out Power Rangers was out when I got into weed, and so this was like the best after school getting high show to watch, I bet. you know, because it was so simple and what the formula was for the show, you know, so it was great for getting high. It was like this SpongeBob, SpongeBob came later, but like. Um, Saved by the yeah. Bell, I think. I don't know. Smoking um, weed and watching TV as for, a kid after school was the shit. This had that song. <laughs> Someone mentioned the soundtrack was good, and I, I remembered. Uh, uh oh, we're in trouble. Something coming along, and I just look at the lyrics, but I remember. Uh oh, and it because it sounded like the B fifty twos, but it's not. It's a band called Shampoo. <laughs> so I'm not uh, a that yeah, got eighty percent, fifty-two votes. That so that's three. Um, that's three. Obviously, two. I think that's a five from us. Can I speak? Another oh, yeah. eight. Yeah. Another eight. Strung out the gate. Timmy is here with Sam and Nate. Who See, that's that? got to break out the rhymes. That's eight points to so- Solar Zensei. If I'm saying hey. that right. So thank you very Solar much. Um, what do we got Sam. next? Sam's Me? turn. Mm-hmm. All right, ready. Mm-hmm. Oh, fuck yeah. I've seen this one, I think. If you're playing this tape, then I'm already dead. (laughs) You are my only hope. They're watching. They're waiting. Take the money, the list, and the gun. And when you shoot, shoot to kill. Somebody killed him. It was strength to come home. This is just the beginning. I've seen it before. It won't stop until you're dead, too. It's the boss from Fight Club. What? Which guy? Uh, I just watched Fight go- Club last night. goatee in this. Okay. Ooh, oh, the original Twin Towers. Prodigy. The Twin Towers are there? From internationally yeah. acclaimed action director Ringo Lamb. Ooh, Ringo Lamb? Tim Ringo, Lamb? yep. With an R, yep. What's his most well-known movie? I think it's this. I'm not sure. They showed the same I'm sure he's done some kick-ass Hong Kong, Kong stuff. And Henstridge of Species. Maximum Risk. Welcome to the other yeah. side of safety. She shows her boobs in that. That's That was a pretty good trailer. They didn't make it super clear, but that's another Jean-Claude Van Damme uh, twins movie. Yeah. Right? Right? It, I think so, yeah. It's like his twin is killed. He's avenging his, his twin, right? Twin. He's avenging. Yeah. He's made more than one movie. I, I love Van Damme because his choice of work is always really interesting, and he's remained interesting. And I just love the idea that he's done more than one movie where he's uh, twins. <laughs> I but also you know what's funny about uh, this? Uh-huh. The trailer and this movie, 1996. Think about this, 1996. Mac- maximum Risk. Mm-hmm. You know what movie this looked like? Ronin. The Born Identity movies. Oh, you are yeah. so right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right? Ronan kind of looks like, like that vibe too. Like the yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. But Maximum Risk has like kicks and it has some nudity in it. It's a little more sexy than the Born Identity. But yeah, you're right. Yeah. But I, I mean, yeah, just ahead of I mean, that, that first I, shot, the, the way it's like a guy and a girl running around, you're totally right, man. Uh, 
I th- I I like this one. I like I, it a lot. I've, I've been giving away a, a lot of twos. Me too, man. But there's been points so left many... tonight. But this was a really good trailer. And let's point this out. Maybe this is why with the whole '90s thing. I mean, this is like primo nostalgia button era for probably all three of us. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I remember watching this in a hotel when I was out of town for like a debate trip in high school. You know what I mean? Like so it's just, you know it's, it's fun. But anyways. Whoa. Two points for I me. did not know that. There's a little what? trivia thrown down by Resident Stevel. The board identity was written in the age. That's I'm sure. Okay. Uh, but it had a TV movie made yes. before the Matt Damon one. That's I didn't right. know that. But the, yeah, the book has been, the book was written. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. It makes yeah. sense. Um, that's cool. I didn't know that. I, you know, I, I really like this, but I, there's like, all right. I, I'm going to give it one point, and this is why. Because, like, it has fuck. so many points. It has so many parts in it that I'm, I'm like, kidding. dope, dope, dope. But I feel it's missing, like, that one thing. You know, I feel like the trailers that I'm like, yes, there's always, like, one moment in the trailer that, like, just puts it over the top. I feel like this didn't really have one focus where I'm like, fuck. And of the movies we've seen tonight, I feel this is the one I'll probably watch this week so far. Um, but I didn't it's great. have... I mean, for, give me that one yeah. scene in the trailer where you're like, "Fuck yeah!" A lot of a lot of these movie trailers, these action parts, have a specific scene that's like mm-hmm. the cell, you know. All right. And I just didn't feel yeah. it, so. Well, let's think about that, and you know, or you do something like the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers trailer, which was not a specific scene. It was just the whole goddamn thing was just fucking yeah. crazy fighting. <laughs> So it's pretty but cool. that's the, that's what it is, you know. Yeah. Like I yeah, feel exactly. like this being, I'm comparing Maximum Risk to like this style of movie. Right, right, yeah, um, yeah. I, I like you. it, but I just, I, it's not a two point. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. So a lot, that, it's two for me, two from Sammy, right? Yeah. So that's uh, six points for Rex Bosworth, Champion of Pan. All right, R B C O W M C O M. And uh, yeah, so chat gave that two points. Did you get that? Yep. Yeah, yeah, we got it. All right. right, and right along, moving right along do, 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 into the do, trailers. Do, 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 do. Moving um, right along, two birds of a feather. For this. We're in this together. Oh fuck yeah! To Never the seen other this kids at Saint Bernard Academy, they were the girls oh, I, I, who didn't belong. Whatever you do, stay. I knew this them. before Why? you switched was, over. Before I switched over to the train. <laughs> <laughs> so I like, oh, I know running? which one this is. I don't want to go God, out the you cast in this. Please stop begging. Just... It's pathetic. Four Each. girls are about Skeet to discover Arch. the dark side. You ever heard of invoking the spirit? Who's who's that girl? I forget. Robin Tinney. Is that her? I mean, this is it. This is real. Yeah. Oh, and uh, Neb Campbell. Campbell, That's right. And then the other girl. I feel like I should know her too. To the witching hour. Who's the band covering this song? I think this is the Smiths. This is not the Smiths. (laughs) Is it stabbing? It it feels like a stabbing Westwood cover. The craft. Watch out for those weirdos. <laughs> we are the weirdos. Mr. Um, Rachel True is the other girl. Oh, hold on. Maybe Space Hog? Space Tripping, Hog, maybe? Tripping Daisy? Well, well let's just. Uh, oh, it's crack. Sponge. It was Sponge, I bet. Uh, okay. I bet it's Sponge. Oh. Uh, who's yeah. saying? Who also soundtrack. saying? Soundtracks. 16 candles down the drain. The drain and uh all right, who do we got here? We got uh okay, here we go. How soon is now written by Morrissey and Johnny Marr, performed by Love Spit Love. Oh, oh. somebody in chat got it. Who said that? Oh, I didn't see oh. that. I was this away, this, this TV away TV got it first. Good call, nice. this away TV. 
I didn't look at chat. Um, but man, you right made that soundtrack, dude. You got some good shit on. Space there. Hog was a dope band. Uh, Bruce um, had Elastica. That was a great trailer. Oh, cool! Yeah, I love how Fruza Balk has like twice the amount of teeth as a normal yeah, person does. She's like a, she's like an AI uh, artwork. <laughs> She doesn't have twice the amount of teeth, but she has twice the amount of like space between the teeth. She I just think like, her whole mouth is larger like her, her. than other people's mouths. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah. Uh I I enjoyed the movie, but I, I really liked the trailer set up, uh, but didn't really give a lot of stuff away. You know, it kind of set you down the path of this is what the movie is. It's great at selling mm-hmm. the movie. Um are you, are you trying to find the part where she smiles? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I That's wanted, right. uh, yeah. I wanted a little bit more. Like, I'm probably going to give this a one. I, it just didn't super grab me. You know, I don't know. I, I did notice something. Uh, there was a part in the trailer with a bunch of bugs or snakes or something in a sink, right? Um, oh wow, look at that! <laughs> oh, you know what it is, dude? She looks like the fucking Joker right there. She'd be an awesome female Joker. No, you know what you know what it is about her smile that's a little weird is she she has so she shows off so much gum. Mm, okay, but it's that's also all, a big smile. Teeth. You're right; she has like a large mouth, you know. But she's like she's like that centipede that has its mouth all ripped back. All right? You know what? He does have some like Wood. Wood. He says wood. <laughs> and for his mug, I was saying wood to the centipede, but wood. <laughs> Man. No, yeah, it works. <laughs> Actually, everybody in the craft, including Skeet Ulrich, would. Yeah. Look, if you're in a movie, if you're a star of like a movie in the 90s, most likely would. Yeah, dude. Uh, let's see. Uh, the craft cast? Yes. Uh, like, I'm even face off? including. Yes. Happy Gilmore? I'm, yeah, fuck everybody in Happy Gilmore. I'm even including the cast of Angus in this one. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. We might need I to mean, do now, some Googling. Now, okay, now. okay. <laughs> Man, I'm so sexually open-minded, I would fuck the cast of Angus as they are now. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, uh, you know what? That trailer uh, has... That really memorable watch out for those weirdos out there. Yeah. We are the weirdos, mister. Uh, See, that's what I'm saying. So is like that had a I part think that's in it that you're like, like bing, that's your it. Bing, check. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I, I'm going to give that two points. I guess I'll be I'll be the one on this one to give it a one. Oh, it's fine. Yeah. It's okay. No, it's Chat okay. gave it three points as well. So Holy that's seven shit. points. That's seven points. Who's that? That gave it like eighty-eight percent yes to me. God damn. So the only that's six people gave it a one. And Dirty Randy gave it a one. Wow, Dirty Randy. Uh, up. Of course. Of course, Dirty but it's Randy. Dirty Randy. It. <laughs> dirty Randy. That is a robot. Arts of Joseph Fincom. Hey, stop, stop. Oh, Bowie Brad, Punish Nate, Wallace, Nate, 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 Nate. We've talked about this, dude. And that's why we have it like this. Lobaka, come on, Lobaka. Jeez. They're Jeez. allowed to vote no. Yeah, but you know what? You know, I'm still going to call him out for it. <laughs> <clears throat> no, it's my no turn. No cowards in this whole. Vote, vote your Hold heart. On. Um, let me uh, assign the points. That was yeah, but do that was the craft by Niamix. Seven points. Right. Thank you, Niamix. And Niamix says, "Your witch's girlfriend favorite movie. <laughs> Your witch girlfriend's favorite movie. Classic you know what? 90s girls being badass. We are the weirdos, Mister. She put that yeah. in the tra- like. Yeah. Thank you, Niamix. If you're That's a submitter great. and you're like, they never choose my trailer. It's Probably because your context is shit. Right. And we do, uh, you know, when there's multiple ones, we're sorting by name. We do try and play the earliest one. Doesn't always happen, but, you know, we, we, we eventually get to everybody. We try, you know. <laughs> do we? Yeah, we try. Right, guys? Uh, oh, I was going to. Oh, 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 oh,
What the fuck was I doing? Timex was the witch girlfriend, she says. <laughs> oh, she was the witch girlfriend. Okay. Uh-huh. I've uh, had multiple... Yeah. No. Yeah, I've had multiple girlfriends that like were obsessed with that movie. Just that's okay, that's, Timmy, with the weird you know? flex that you had multiple girlfriends. Okay, not at the you same have to time. Rub it in on the Never. rest of us. Nate, hold on. I've had like I haven't had very many, so just don't worry about it. Plus, I'm going to be alone for the rest of my life, so it's fine. And I'm not saying that to get sympathy. It's just like that's my current intention. Oh, Where do you the live fuck with your is mom? The movie I was going to play. Do I live with my mom? No, I have a daughter. Okay. I bought a house. Oh, are we, are we having a pathetic off? Is that what's happening yeah. right now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I win. Uh, I don't know, man. Uh, you could probably okay. go have sex with somebody if you wanted to. I'm, I'm done. Anyways, I would. I had a movie picked out, and I completely fucking pick another one. It's your turn. I, I know it's my turn. Suck my butt. Oh yeah, here we go. Okay, I got it again. Jesus, man, I just completely. You know that's what you happens. Got some butt stuff in your pussy tonight, Timmy, or what? Bust stuff in your pussy, bust stuff in your... No, Nate, you know what I got? Boobies. The Boobies. December 31st, 1999. Oh, fuck yeah. The end of a century. The end of a millennium. Did anyone submit Strange Days? The beginning of the end. Oh, Robin Tunney. Hey, Victor. Oh, oh no, Robin yeah. Tunney. Yeah, Scandal Victor's in this, I forgot. Victor Vernada's in this. Yeah. Who's Victor Vernado? The the Albana the Albana guy right there. Whoa! Yeah. Behind you, Christine. Victor Varnado, yeah. Uh, around this time, there's a lot of like creepy parts in movies, and it was Victor, like that. He did one in uh, Da Vinci Code too. The Dark Angel is loose from his prison. Fuck Get down yeah. on the ground. You don't know what you've done. Said here the guy spoke to you. Sorry, it's oh, quiet. It's as loud as it gets. The guy doesn't have a tongue. Listen to this. I've seen the earth laid to waste. Take it easy. You're the good guys. They tried to kill me. Why? She's been chosen. Chosen for what? If the dark angel consummates Rod your flesh with this human body before midnight on New Year's Eve. And he unlocks the gate of hell. Ah! I've come for my wife, Christine. May God forgive us! Well, they really, they really cashed in on Victor for his trailer. <laughs> Shut up again. When I am forever, and you are just a man. Ooh, that's cool. That was cool. Ooh, that does not so cool. <laughs> that looks really bad. This is a great trailer for a New movie days. that did not work out. Ooh, oh my god! Great soundtrack. <laughs> yes. Great yes. soundtrack. Yes. Rob and Tony. Yes. Great soundtracks. Back that's to the back. 90s, baby. Uh, okay, one thing that's awesome about that trailer, you know what? You're almost a minute in, a minute in before they reveal it to be Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, was, that was interesting. It's pretty cool. Trailer. And it's obviously him, like, I guess I'm not strong in action anymore. Let's do, let's put on a, let's do a whole film, you know? So it's kind of a Schwarzenegger horror movie. I have seen this. Have you guys seen it? Uh, I no. don't think so. My friend Jackson, uh, he was in the ska band with me, the Jeff Coats. Um, he got married real young. I think we were like 20, if that. And uh, we wa- we got wasted at some cabin somewhere and watched this movie. And so that's the only time I've seen it. And I definitely remember part of it. But we, we you know, anyways, that was fun. That was fun. The movie's all right. But that was a, that was a pretty damn good trailer. Yeah, some of the scenes that really sold yeah. it for me were when he shoots the blade of the knife off and then the <laughs> rolling like wave of the pews. Like, fuck, yeah. Yeah, that was cool. And then something else comes out of it at the end or something. I like um, yeah, yeah, that they're they're like there's a big demon in this, but we're not even going to show it. I don't think there <laughs> is. I can't remember. Somebody in chat said it was an animatronic. 
Oh, is it? Okay. I don't really remember that. I do remember that doesn't end up being Schwarzenegger supposed to be the Antichrist? Whoa. It might be something Timmy. like that. Bwah, 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 bwah. Oh, was I not supposed to? Uh, I, it's it's twenty. It's twenty. Oh, was years I old, not supposed to old. spoil movies? A movie older than Abby Sally? Come on, we're guys, watching the okay. trailers. I guess this we're not going to watch it now, right, Chad? Uh, Panini Mini says Timmy is incorrect. I'm okay, incorrect good. about what? Stop guessing, oh, Timmy. He's not the Antichrist. <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, good. Then Timmy's like, oh, wait, you well, know who Also, is? I prefaced the whole story with the fact that I was fucking drunk when I watched this. So just, you know, it's okay. Uh, Timmy's always name-dropping the Al- Jeff Coats. I fight for them, says name-dropping the Jeff Coats. Okay, that's like yeah. a reverse name drop. <laughs> Whatever the opposite is. I fight for them, says, is this the one where Arnold fights an alligator? That's Eraser, and that's great because the line he says before he shoots the alligator is, your luggage. Uh, terrible so terrible did I, did I tell you my my schwarzenegger story no have you do you know him is this uh, the, uh, is this the the, the uh, ivan reitman yeah, 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 yeah oh yeah, i don't know yeah. no did i tell you that no uh no. so uh so the funny thing is is so like so trevor zach and i we we did that stripes pilot so we worked with ivan reitman and mm-hmm. when i and actually when trevor passed away uh his him and his his uh executive that we work with uh sent a, uh sent me a a nice candle like a really really oh. nice candle which uh very nice of them and i sent i like corresponded with the executive a little bit and was like thank you so much and uh and then when ivan passed away i you know was like hey i'm so sorry and uh she ended up sending me an invite, me and Zach, an invite to his memorial. And it was at uh, the Sony lot where mm-hmm. his offices are. And I was like, you know what? Like, I'm going to I'm going to go to this. And, and I was going to go with Zach. And then Zach kind of like didn't go mm-hmm. and <laughs> kind of didn't go. <laughs> he Well, he was like, oh, I'll go. And then when I was like, hey, so we were going and he was like, ah, nah. And then works. I was like, going to get. I was going to go with Emily and then she kind of was like, I, I don't feel like going. And I was like, okay. So I, I went alone thinking it would be this, like it's this big thing at Sony. It turned out to be like, like 150 people, like a hundred people, maybe like not that big. And I, I didn't know anyone besides the executive that I worked with there. And she was like doing stuff. And, uh, like everyone else was like judge Reinhold or like Danny DeVito. Like it was like <laughs> weird. It was very weird. And then, uh, we, they, who was on like, your level? who was on my level? Like, who like, did you recognize that you were like, this person is closest to like where I am. You mean like I, career wise? Like, yeah. Fame wise or whatever. I mean, this is, I, I guess, uh, BJ Novak and Mindy Kaling, who are way more famous than me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but they were like uh, the least famous people there. <laughs> and then it's you. Yeah. Like. And then, yeah, then like all these, like, but like everyone else is like, like, uh, uh, you know, like fucking like, like agents and managers too. And like, I know, I swear, like people thought I was just like a caterer, like totally. Uh-huh. Like, uh, but like, so. And it was like an hour of hell. It was like an hour of like cocktail hour of just like me awkwardly standing around while people were like, oh, you know, like, like kind of like having small talk. And then finally the, the memorial starts and all the speakers are like Arnold Schwarzenegger and like, uh, fucking like Sigourney Weaver. And I'm sitting right behind, uh, um, what's uh, John Landis. Oh, wow. and I'm like, that's so weird. He was like responsible for killing those people. Uh, <laughs> uh, it was like, not really, but that's just, I kept on like that was like stuck in my head. Uh, and, but anyway, so, so, and like the, the three Ghostbusters did, did a speech and, oh, wow. you know, like it was, it was crazy. Wow. And, but anyways, I, I, uh, 
at one point, uh, Schwarzenegger's doing his thing and he's talking about, he like brings Danny DeVito up. He's talking to Danny DeVito about like twins. And then he's talking about like how Ivan, how they were like, you know, this is when he was an action guy, he was hanging out and Ivan, you know, like he was like looked at him and goes, you know, you're pretty funny, you know, like uh, you should do a comedy and, and, Schwarzenegger was like, oh, you should put me in the comedy. And he was like, <laughs> like, oh, I will. And then he did. And like wow, he like, that's like, funny. like months later, he gave him the the twin script. And uh and the whole thing was like about how like you know he was only seen as an action guy, and then Ivan Reitman saw him as this guy who could do comedy. And then he gets he gets to, <laughs> to the end of his speech and he's like and I shouldn't be happy about this, but Sly tried comedy and they bombed. <laughs> <laughs> I love that he did that. Well, what he said it was in, in a way. In? Uh, he said it in a way and I don't know what that else. Was, that was that nothing but one. elated. He was nothing That's but funny. elated. It was uh, Oscar was the the gangster Oscar, one that he was yes. in. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Who directed Oscar? Directed Sylvester Stallone. Directed didn't no John Landis directed Oscar. Oh, oh, so he said that, and John Landis is sitting in front of you. <laughs> he oh, points wow. right at him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's great. It's like not only did he like, yeah, it was a very weird thing. Yeah. I don't know. Sorry, that, that was such oh, a weird moment. Good story. Was, <laughs> this is a, a weird memorial. Yeah. That is crazy. Um, Whose turn is it, though? Oh, we get to do give these, end uh, of days. Points. Check in at three points. I, I, uh, I liked it. I'm going to give points. it two points. All right, that's another eight point trailer. Who got it? Jesus. Um. Oh, fuck. I lost my. Hey, give me a second, please. Sam's turn next, anyway. I think. Okay. There's too many. There's too many. Yes, you John can do, Landis uh, was the Twilight movie guy. Comes the Twilight. Yeah, the Twilight Zone. Sam, Twilight I'm unable zone. to. I'm unable yeah. to interact with it at all. Oh yeah, that's right. It's a Voodoo Cowboy. Okay, so that's eight points for you Voodoo do. Cowboy. Okay, cool. What up, Lady of Petunia? Lady of Petunia's here. What up? Hey. All right, ready? Oh, is it what I think it is? Oh no! Here we go. Of the 200 trailers, is it what I think it is? No, no, no. I saw a purple box around Cheers. another one. I thought it was They're the picking. hope of the future. You two really must have a lot of fun together. Uh, yeah, these little rascals really make life worth living. But Ben and Flo have a problem. Are you absolutely sure there's no hope? Oh, none whatsoever. Florence, why can't we adopt? Okay. Let's get a kid. Okay, you want a little baby. Well, old babies are little. It's no problem there. Just this morning, I came upon a seven-year-old. <laughs> uh, smartest attack. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, little rambunctious. Yeah, we, we're going to have to clip just that one line, right? <laughs> but weren't we all at that age? <laughs> I came upon oh, a seven-year-old. he does look very presentable in that little bow tie. He's evil. That's a wicked mind. Look what he did in art class. Skeletons. Headless corpses. No, 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 no. Don't, please, please. Don't the hyperventilate. Place. Either Junior goes or you find yourself some new nuns. <laughs> Hey, we must have gotten the pick of the litter. Look, everyone's come out to see him off. <laughs> I would like to proudly present the newest member of the Healy family, Junior. Wait, hold on. This is a fucking gigantic orphanage. <laughs> <laughs> People do not the want The number... <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> the amount of orphans in this? What is going I would like on? To proudly present the newest member of the Healy family, Junior. <laughs> He's got the face of an angel. It's the devil. I hope you guys are insured. <laughs> He's got a special <laughs> wish. Oh, Gary would like this trailer. Or fuzzball. She'll never be the same. He's got the keys to the car. <laughs> My new car! No! I'm pretty sure Jack. All the child needs is to be loved. 
There's an ass, uh, an old man from Dr. Satan. Satan. You took him out of the yard! That's because you, remember. you condescend to him! Why I remember I most, most of the movie, movie but I, I'm pretty sure Jack Gordon's ass is times. out at some point. He's mad. Good nut shot. He's bad. Yeah, I like that he did it. It wasn't like. I'm gonna be eight in two oh, he's, weeks! That's a Pocalypse Now reference. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Uh, with Evan B. Robert. Oh, wow. Kill uh, Robert Duvall's care. Who? Me? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude, just from that last second, where it's just the cat yowling and him rolling his eyes, I bet Darren would be, like, fucking... He <laughs> loves that kind of stuff. I bet he would just be cheesing child. it. <laughs> Problematic, child. Um, that was a pretty good trailer. There's a lot of good think, ones today. Man. That guy does now. The problem, the problem child, kid? child? Let's find yeah. out. That's a great question. <laughs> uh, I I really I'm, like that. Uh, one choice that they made that I really appreciated was you have a kid sliding under another kid with a baseball bat, and you're doing a nut shot joke mm -hmm. you you would think like the the thing that people would do is have him hold the the baseball straight up and hit the nuts that way but he fucking skewered him yeah he like uh, <laughs> goes up like that's that kid's uh straight on that kid had to go to that, the doctor yeah that was he like used it like a lance uh yeah. all right so junior was played by michael oliver and he was in he's known for problem child problem child 2 um he's only in 10 movies a weird connection he was in eraser the schwarzenegger oh. movie we were just talking about somebody asked about with the the the, the, the uh, alligator so that's weird he was only in 10 things two problem childs one of those uh one of the several times i've rebooted the monsters 1991 uh, he was in a Beach Boys music video for Problem Child. Did not know that was a thing. <laughs> it's, uh, it's the Beach Boys, Problem Child. He was on another TV show called Drexel's Class. He's apparently plays a teenager in a scene in Forrest Gump. That's about oh. it. Can I, can I read you a news article when I looked his name up? Yes, uh-oh. Okay, so Michael let me just Oliver. say... Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. Michael, I've already, I'm already on it. Um, so this is an article from uh, November 2022. Right. So okay. not long ago. So there's right. a news article on Yahoo News about him. Right. Mm -hmm. Problem child star Michael Oliver is pulling the plug on his marriage just three years after marrying his wife, Magalonia Part Ponce. Mm -hmm. According to legal documents obtained by The Blast, the former child star filed for dissolution of his marriage in Los Angeles County Courts. If you've been living under a rock... Oliver starred in the hit movie Problem Child as an adopted little boy named Junior who terrorizes the family. <laughs> the movie starred comedian John Ritter. In the filing, Dude, the actor lists his, like it goes on and on like he's like a relevant guy. It's like he's been living under a rock. He was in one big movie 30 fucking years ago. Wow. And then it goes on to say, interestingly, it says he's been separated since 2019. It is unclear why he decided to decided to pull the trigger on divorce. Nate, That's I've got that so article funny. up now. Look what, look what it says uh, two paragraphs down. If you're thinking, what happened to that guy? Join the club. So this writer is already <laughs> undoing the point they made earlier. If you've been living under a rock... You can't do it. Dude, wow. Okay, obviously... We, it's clickbait. It's horse shit anyways, you know, but um, but still, jeez. It's just so funny. I'm, I'm going like, to check this out, but keep talking. I was just say, it's just so funny that like just somebody's morning, job as a journalist came upon is to like stand like divorce uh, smart as yeah. attack, a little yeah. rambunctious, like, but weren't uh, we all at that age? Is somebody write an article <laughs> about? Who's Michael Oliver? Is that the guy from Problem Child? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh man late 80s early 90s beach boys fucking shit <laughs> John Stamos on drums yeah well, it's, it's the Stamos version wow this song is terrible now everybody says you this is Kokomo era, isn't it? 
Aruba, <laughs> Okay, now I like it. That's what, Carl Wilson? Yeah, I don't... Dude, this is terrible. Okay, can we stop this? I can't. Right. <laughs> I love it. I love it. It's my new favorite song. That was bad. Uh, How many points are you giving a problematic child? Yeah, let's go back to that. Uh, two points for me. Problematic. Two points for me, too. That was really fun. Right. It was. It's a good one. I, there was moments that like genuinely had me laughing. Yeah, uh, I, I don't want to give it two points, but I have to give it two points. Uh, we saw Problem Child 2 in theater together. I remember that. And uh, uh, I remember... We went into the movie theater and we're sneaking candy in and I was right in front of like one of the ticket taker or no, it was like the manager of the movie theater. And I was so nervous about sneaking candy in and I had it like it tucked away in my armpit and it slipped out right in front of the guy and the guy <laughs> picked it up and he goes, huh, gummy worms, huh? And I was like, yeah. And I grabbed it and ran into prom child. <laughs> That's our funny, mom man. our that was something our mom taught us like really young she would like be like don't buy the candy you know like uh, uh <laughs> i remember i think it was um phantom menace we like skipped i was in college at the time and we got a, I, I think it was college but like we got a bunch of friends to go and we went in, in a huge group and we got super fucking high she got out of work to meet us for Phantom Menace, and she's like, had this big purse, and she's like, look what I brought. And it was just like candy and snacks. We were all like, yes! It's uh, a good memory. <laughs> Sam, move your yeah. head a little bit to your right. I'm trying to see the percentage. Okay, thank you. 77%, Timmy. That's three points from chat. Yeah. I, I'm good, too. I like it. You're good, Sammy. So, You're good. So eight, eight points. Yeah, another I, I, eight pointer. Fuck. A lot of my childhood. I mean, a lot of movies I've seen when when I was like uh, growing up. I, I I remember just doing the <clears throat> every time I cracked open a can of soda in the movie uh, theater. <laughs> yeah, man, you got to do that. You do a cough. Yeah, <laughs> whatever. That's funny. Yeah. Uh, who, whose right, movie so, was that? Was CD CD submitted problem child. And Sam, was that your pick? Whose pick was that? That was my pick. Yes. Okay, yes, so yes. now we're at Nate. Yes. Cool. CD. Um. Oh, Nate, you're beautiful. When the world is in trouble, I can't. when our future is in danger, we call upon one man. But when he's busy, he calls another five girls. Oh wow! Columbia Pictures presents again the Spice Girls. All right, we're coming. In their film debut, oh. Victoria, Emma, Mel B, Jerry, and Mel you need C. to, to make yeah. that a drop. And also from the Problem Shot trailer, I came upon a seventy-year-old. power. They're dressed <laughs> oh, wow. to kill. Bob Hoskins? Well, yeah. And thoroughly prepared. I'm gonna want to look at this trailer for later. Every encounter. It's a story of love. I think with boys, you should be able to just wheel them in. Yeah, and order them like a pizza. Yeah, mm. no cheese. Ah! Compassion. It's really too hot in here. I need a fan. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that was great. The speeding melon hits the wall. Yeah. It's Christmas for the crows. What did he say? I haven't a clue. Where's that coming from? Oh, don't you think it's good? It's from uh, Great Britain. Britain. Nail and I. Uh, uh, ah, with Nail and I. That's a good It's from England. No. no. It's uh, uh, also in the Warlock movie. Right? No, 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 no. Probably. Speaking of, did they find that guy? 
and spice up your life with the Spice Girls. Spice World. Uh, yeah, but can they act? Um, blah, blah, blah. Hey. Um, yeah. Girl power. Feminism. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I want to talk about a kick ass soundtrack. <laughs> Featuring right, Limp Bizkit. <laughs> Corn, Stone Sour. <laughs> uh, it's so funny. Uh, oh weird. my god. I want to see that. I want to see this. Can I guess your, famous, your favorite Spice Girl? Huh? I'm going to guess your favorite Spice Girl. Go for it. Baby. Nope. Damn. I would have pegged you as a baby Spice Girl. What fan. about you, Nate? Gotta guess. Um, baby. Oh. <laughs> okay, Sam. Somebody guess Sam's. Nate, you guess right. Sam's. Or, or I'm going to say Sam? for Sam, I'm going to say scary. Mm. No. Okay. I'm going to say for everyone posh. No. Ginger all the way. This is a ginger okay. household. Yeah. I like sporty spice. Oh, yeah. I like posh spice. Posh. Oh. That's Victoria Beckham. Posh was my not, number two. Victoria was. Beckham. Uh, I think uh, scary, was, be uh, scary be my number two. Number I, yeah, dude. There. Well, there. There are a bunch of good ladies, and I'm, I'm glad someone submitted this trailer. It's a pretty good trailer. What I like <laughs> is it's yet another fucking James Bond reference, but then it turns out oh, Roger Moore is actually in this movie. The best James Bond was in the movie. Yeah, that's yeah, the, yeah, that's yeah. The yeah. Best. <laughs> um, I'm a Roger you know, Moore guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Roger Moore's cool, man. And you know what? I love Live and Let Die. That's a fucking awesome movie. It's so crazy. And that was his first one, I think. His first Bond. Yeah. I just think he was the funniest Bond. Yeah, and, and his Oops. Bonds got his Bonds got wild, you know, like Moonraker and the one with Grace Jones and like, you know, that shit. Like he was getting crazy. Oh yeah, I I, I was watching that a little bit. The View other to night, a well. kill. View to a kill. Yeah, it's got that uh um Duran Duran. I was just gonna say um, a really good Duran Duran song. Fucking tune, man. Uh -huh. Yeah, what song is that? Uh it has kill. fire in the lyrics. But Welcome it's, back to yeah. three old guys, to boys. Kill. Um, you know what? The Billy Eilish Jump one I really like too. Into the fire. Right. Did they save? Is it called You to a Kill though? Yeah. I think, <laughs> Dr. I think it's Dr. Dr. Darren kill, just says, What is this, guys? Dr. Darren's a, 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 he used to watch me on my old streams way back in the a while ago. And uh, Darren, do you know what we're doing? He might not know Dr. what Darren this is. Darren watches That's the great. Nate streams. No, he gets it. He, he, oh, he gets watches it. Okay, my good. watch parties. Is this he saying polite. what is this, guys? Because we're talking about James Bond right now instead of talking about the trailer. Yeah. Uh, I but wait. Uh, uh, one of the funnest things in A View to Kill in the beginning of that is that uh -huh. he basically invents snowboarding. Yes. How yeah. fucking dope is that? He, that's he's correct. like skiing and he like takes out a snowmobile and then someone an explosion hap happens next to him and then he takes the front like ski off of the snowmobile and turns it into a snowboard and they play bring it around to what we were just doing they play uh like california girls or something like that oh my god everything i wish they could tonight yeah um, okay, so oh, we're not ready to move on yet. I, I gave it, I give that, oh, it's a pretty good trailer. Remember, the theme is 90s, and that was like, that was like a tight grouping. Yes. Yeah, I'll give it two. What do you guys think? <laughs> es Eskimomo says, are salt and pepper Spice Girls? Which is a good joke. <laughs> That's a great joke. <laughs> Technically, yes. <laughs> Binderella, though, no. she's not. She's out of luck. Yeah. Sorry, Spin. Uh, I think I'm gonna give it one point. Yeah. On what? When basis? I gave that one earlier, was mainly because I was sick of giving twos. <sighs> uh it's just it's. It's so I don't know. It's, it's like it's kind of annoying. I'm just kind of I... horny, and I liked watching them dance around. <laughs> I'm just I'll kidding. say this: that sounds what so I... sexist and shitty, but I mean, yeah, it's yeah. I like uh, they're they're good to look what at. I did and, like uh, about this fun. is that like it was obviously like another. You know, it was very heavy-handed on what it was as a movie. You know, it was like 
uh, we, we have toys, we have all this stuff. Well, what's next? Uh, uh, movie. Yeah, let's do the movie. What's the movie? Oh, it's just the spice, you know, like it, it, they were just cranking it out, you know? It wasn't like. I, I just love that. That was very 90s. Um, you know, it's kind of like um, uh, Josie and the Pussycats was like a parody of this movie almost. Yeah, basically. Um, Lobaka uh, reminded that fan joke is the right level of commitment to the gag. Yes, that fan joke was fucking awesome. That was great. That's actually I, the horny joke was aside. The, uh, when I decided to give this a two was with that fan jo- That fan joke. I loved it. I love shit like that. So I'm giving it two. Me too. Um, I'm going to, and Sam's doing one, so it's four from us. And then chat gave it two, so, so that is a six points, um, and the six points are going to I'm up next, Guy but I got a P. I'll be right back. All right. Six points to Guy I have one ready. You have one ready? So, uh, I got Nate, a conversation quick, to have. Before I come back, uh, before I leave and come back, Nate, I'm pretty sure my next trailer has the song that I've been looking for. I don't think Sam was here when we were talking about that. So, anyways. I like how... <laughs> I like how Timmy can be stepping away from the stream and still interrupt me. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Uh, but uh, so I was I was looking to to watch like a rando Bond movie the other night. What are like the the you know like I know like there's like the the big ones like you know Goldfinger. But like, what do you think about like what's your favorite Bond movie? First off, Casino Royale. All right. Well, like. What did, what about the other from the the like older Bond movies? Um. Oh, diamonds are forever. Diamonds are forever. Okay, who's is that? A Roger Moore? Um, I think so. Diamonds are forever. I like it because let me see. Let me pull it up. Diamonds are forever. Um, Jill Saint John. Is in a bikini through like most of it. No, it's a Sean Connery one, but like uh Jill St. John is so hot in that movie. It just blew my mind. <laughs> and it has like the 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 lady assassins. It's the one that takes place in like Las Vegas, remember? Okay. Um I don't and it has like the two odd guys, like uh Mr. Kid. Remember there's like an odd guy with sideburns and a mustache, and they're like uh they 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 speak to each other like very politely. Mr. Kid and Mr. Wint. Oh. Remember this? No, no, I, I don't think I've seen it. Um, it has a Blowfield in it as the main bad guy. Um, Jill St. Oh. John in a bikini stuck on like an oil rig, though. It's pretty fucking great. Um, For more sure to throw, I, I don't think I really liked. Um, Mr. Wint and Mr. Kid are gay. Yeah, I could see that, definitely. But they don't they don't lay heavy on it, you know? What, uh, uh, do you like any of the... the um... Timothy Dalton ones. There's two that he did. Uh, uh, it, it seems singing. Did I just hear Goldeneye. Sam he singing? did Goldeneye, right? Oh, you guys. No, no, James that's. Uh, is it, wait, that's not Timothy Dalton, right? That's um, what's his name? Which movie? Uh, Goldeneye. That's uh, Goldeneye is um, Pierce Brosnan. Pierce Brosnan. Oh Pierce Brosnan. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Timothy Dalton only did two. License, to, license kill, to kill and living daylights and living daylights yeah how's living daylights is that good i've never seen it i've only seen license to kill i've seen all of them license to kill is it. weird because it's like it was mid 80s and so everybody was making action movies about colombian drug lords or whatever it's like south american drug lords and so that was the james bond goes after south american drug lords movie and i don't remember it being very James Bondy, you know, I don't remember a lot of gadgets or like, you know, fancy parties and women and all that stuff. It seemed like it was more of like an 80s action movie. I feel like that's the thing with the Timothy Dalton ones is they were like a little bit more serious and right. a little like less heightened. Isn't um, your favorite James Bond? Living Daylights Lays Mid. Me? Yes. I George Lazenby. 
I blind bought a very cool Blu-ray that came recently. Uh, George Lazenby is, I think, the villain in it. It's called The Man from Hong Kong. It's an Australian action movie. Mm. Anyways, George Lazenby is cool. I've never seen that one. Um, we ready for my trailer? Did we get the points for her uh, Spice Girls? Yep. Wait, did we? Yeah. Let me see. Sorry. Uh, Should be seven, wasn't it? Uh, Spice World War from us. Nito, six oh, points. Six. That's okay. Yeah. Cool. All right. So you know, uh, before I hit play, I just want you know, I'm sorry I was getting so horny. This trailer. You, know, you missed us talking probably... about Jill St. John. Who's that? She was the redhead that was in um, Diamonds Are Forever, and she's in a bikini through like half the movie, and she's oh, stuck on like the. I, I don't remember that one. So hot. Anyways, I remember this, when I was a little kid, trailer... I saw her for the first time. I was like. You, you had a story time chance when I went to the bathroom. Just catching you up because you keep saying you're horny. Okay, well, I'm saying that so that I can play this trailer and I think it'll cool everybody down. We've come to the halfway point of our senior seminars. <laughs> Our guests today come from oh, the no. Police Department. Oh, no. Timmy. <laughs> Why don't we begin with a question? What is a sex crime? Not getting any. Yeah. What is a sex crime? Welcome, Timmy. To town of Blue Here to take this one. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Lombardo. Oh, my God. <laughs> so where's your hose, Mr. Lombardo? Lydia <laughs> Petunia said all caps the horniest well, movie. Oh my god, abuse. this movie's so horny. I love it. Started rubbing my shoulders. Accusations can destroy. I'm innocent. You guys do sex crimes, right? When you guys was do sex crimes? No, no, we're <laughs> cops. We <laughs> investigate. Yeah, okay. I came upon a seventy-year-old. You guys do sex crimes, right? And appearances. Can this is the one where we see Kevin Bacon's dog. Was <laughs> this is when you don't spoil, right? Mom, and that was it. Are you it's not real, though, right? You know how my mom oh, is it a fake hog? Or no, no, it's, it's this one is a real hog. Yeah. Now they got away with eight million dollars of Sandra Van Ryan's money. You want my gut? There's more to this story than you know. Sam, did you? After I watched this. Uh, was this your suggestion for me to watch once years and years ago? I think I watched it at your. I think I watched it at Funhouse with you guys. You needed to be suggested to watch this. <laughs> no, but like I assumed it wasn't good because it just looks, you know, like a. Yeah, I wonder if the scene is in the trailer. Money with you, do you? No, how do you put that scene in the trailer? Really no, I think they kiss. Yeah. There's no one to trust. You can trust me. Hell yeah. <laughs> I'd keep a really close eye on my new friends if I were you. She's gonna blow it. Boom. Don't touch Don't me. Say it. Wild things. Oh yeah. Two's company. Three's a crowd. Can okay. I play two? Or is it just for boys? Jeepers. Okay, so first of all, I'm disappointed because when Nate and I were talking before we started, I said there's a song that I wonder how many times we're gonna hear tonight. I have not heard it yet. I wanted to be in this trailer because it's in the movie that it cuts to a scene of them driving around a Jeep and it goes, something, whatever the third, so much on kind of semi charmed kind of, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that was in so many trailers and it's in this fucking movie and isn't in the trailer. And there's people giving this a one and I do want to call them out because what the fuck is the matter with you people? I was, I was telling Timmy last week, we saw a trailer that had two third eye fly songs in it. <laughs> Oh yeah! It's just wild to me because it's in this movie. Like there, that scene where she's like, well, "Can I?" Is it just the boys or whatever? Well, then it cuts to them riding in a jeep to that song. <laughs> it doesn't really fit the tone of the movie. I mean, which is <laughs> let's get haunt uh, uh, up. Uh, here's the other thing: I have a very nice uh, arrow arrow uh, video just put out a really nice. It's got a 4K in it too. I don't have a 4K player yet, but Blu-ray uh, of this with like uh, interviews and booklet with a bunch of uh, writing and stuff in it. Like they went all fucking out for this movie. You bought this on Arrow? Yeah, dude, this movie you fucking rules. 
Does yeah. it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Is, is that there one is scene? what is no is no no. The, no, 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 no. See, Nate, I can't even tell you why it's so great. Directly it's... to the scene. <laughs> That'd be amazing. Just the titty suit. <laughs> um, that would be really It's on funny. the box. It's special features. It's like commentary, the scene in bold letters. And you're like, oh, sweet. And you just watch that. They're like, we save you the time of having to fucking skip forward. To that it's really scene. funny because you we can just, just isolate go, it for you. And you, you can, can slow watch it down. That, and... You can just go watch that GIF on Reddit like so many times. But no, here's a 40 But you bought it on Arrow Blu-ray. DVD. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyways, it's, weird. Uh, it's weird, though, because it's a beautiful transfer. But when you get to that scene, it looks like a worn out VHS. <laughs> like, <laughs> like it's been rewound and played. <laughs> Too trackings many times. off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> fantastic. And, and we're like, what's wrong with this? It's like, we can't find a copy of this. It doesn't exist. They're all worn out like that. <laughs> Why? No reason. <laughs> oh, but it's the masters. What? Nothing. <laughs> we just can't find any more. We I'm can't find my any hair. pristine footage of those Don't beautiful the listening. T- I mean, uh, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> Dude. Anyways, so Sam, you've seen this. You've seen this movie, and so you you like this movie, right? Because I feel like you're the one that told me to watch it because it actually. Is I don't good. think I did. No, okay, well, I somebody did, did, and they were right because. Have you seen this, Sam? Have you seen this? Movie? Yeah, I, I have. There's so, I think it's there's good. something that annoyed it. me about this movie. What's that? Uh, is that <laughs> no? It's not acting. It's pretty good, right? Uh, 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 is... No, it, it was that that. Um, it's 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 a very uh, uh, twisty movie, yeah. And it's it's a movie that kind of cheats, where there's scenes like once you find out what like ev- what's going on, you're like, wait, why would this scene earlier in the movie happen? Yeah, if this was the reality. Yeah, there's a little bit of that. Yeah, uh, yeah. They've made uh, direct-to-video sequels to these movies, which I think are not like a continuation of the story, which would be interesting. It's just like, here's another two sexy girls getting in trouble. <laughs> I I want to see or like whatever. real stats of how many like Florida young married couples like had some kind of uh, open relationship thing awaken in them after seeing this movie. Oh man, maybe. Hey, have you guys ever seen, uh, it came out maybe three, four years ago. Matthew McConaughey and Anne Hathaway, and it's like a takes place on a tropical area, and, and like she's she's trying to get he's her ex husband, she's trying oh, to get yeah. him to uh, kill her current husband. What was that movie called? Serendipity. Okay, did you see it? Right. Oh, yeah, Serendipity that's, was John Cusack. No. Um. No, no. Uh, uh, Serenity. Serenity. Right, 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 right. That so, did it. you see it, Sam? Uh, I've seen like like half of it, but I know what the twist I is. You know it? Yet. I haven't watched it Nate, yet. Nate, are you aware of the twist? No, no, no. I mean, <laughs> somebody alluded to it because it was submitted in a, a theme we okay. did called Video Games, and okay. we didn't get it. So I, I have yet to watch it, but I do want to watch it. I put it I up saw on that. some of our watch party polls, but it never wins. Mm-hmm. I saw that, I believe, during my movie pass days, and I was like, I probably would have paid to see that anyways, because I did, I heard it was crazy. Uh, but anyways, uh, yeah, that was a good one, man. What are you giving uh, Wild Things? I'm giving Wild Things, uh, I think that's, I mean, that was a pretty 90s trailer. It was a little different than a lot of them that we've watched tonight, and it was, you know, it was a little more sultry, and uh, I would give it too. I thought it made me want to see the movie, you know? But I'm going to go watch at least part of the movie after this anyways. <laughs> I'm terrible. I'm not. <laughs> I'm terrible. I'm not. <laughs> Sam, what are you doing? Uh, I can give it one. It, you, you know, may, maybe on a a, a, a slower night, I, I would have uh, given it a, a two, but it, there's just been so much heat tonight, you know? I'm giving it a one. I just wasn't feeling it. I quit. I needed that scene. I was like, why would you should put that scene where they're like, Yo, Nate, actually, I, I remember back in the day as a kid, when this was on, there were tr- uh, trailers or commercials that showed that, but I mean, they didn't show that, but they showed, I think, uh, Matt Dillon and her like coming together, like yeah. and not I, the, when they're actually coming together, but when they were like, they move towards each other and kiss or whatever. Yeah. And that's what I was looking for. Yeah. 
Didn't see it. Principal oh, Rolls says, I'm shocked that Nart would give this someone. Well, you probably said that before he just explained. But um, because, yeah, that you'd think this is Nart pandering with all the hot ladies and the kind of goofy 90s business. But uh, I guess he just wanted to turn up one more notch. Right. Yeah, I, I just um, like I feel that is such a hard sell. And you have that scene. And you're like, oh, I, I that looks like a good film. I, I would, it seems uh, that's a thriller. I, I love thrillers. I'll I think it's because it's that. such a spoiler. You know, that's maybe why they didn't put it in there. That's why I don't I know. It. Let's be real. Booby King. Happy <laughs> Sally Wait. dropped the Booby King. <laughs> oh my God. What's that from? Are those you? That's me. <laughs> you made that one? <laughs> so oh, that's from channel, your, your yeah. page? Oh my God. <laughs> that's funny. Ooh, also, to balance the Booby King, though, we do have the feminism symbol. We play both sides. Listen, man, it is not... I, I mean, I'm a white guy, so I shouldn't be even saying this, but I don't think it's sexist to like boobs. You know? It's uh, and to enjoy them and, and sing their praises, but you should also, you know, not be a fucking... It's sexist if you don't it. like Right. I remember when I was in college, I had this uh, dude... Uh, uh, one of my friends was kind of like, I remember we're all hanging out and he kind of started talking about like that. He thinks he's gay. And he kind of like was figuring out like right in front of us. And he was like, I just remember him saying like, you know, but I'm not really, I don't really think about vaginas. I don't want to like have sex or, you know, with that way or anything, but, but I like boobs. And I said, everybody likes boobs. You're probably gay. <laughs> he was like, yeah. He <laughs> turned to me. Uh, wait, you don't think about pussy all the time? <laughs> what? A That's Did you show him your deck. And you're like, <laughs> what does this do for you? And he was like, you know what? Seven out of ten. <laughs> I gave myself Did three, he... four extra points just for the story. But uh... Did he turn out to be gay? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I went to a – dude, the school I was at was a, a small school. I only went there for a little bit. I was studying English. I didn't really know what I was wanted to do yet. Um, and it was a Catholic school, and it was a nursing school, and it was a theater school. And so it was like, you know – Lots of girls in nurse outfits, and then like a bunch of gay dudes, and then me. It was weird. You go to Emerson? No, no, I just said a Viterbo. I, didn't I say it? No, Viterbo. In, 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 in. That was a joke. Is Emerson, Emerson like that? Dude? Joke. What's that? What's that school in? Uh, was it Worcester? What's uh, that we went to that one time? Sam was that Smith? Brandon's. Oh, it's a thousand uh, 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 Northampton. Northampton, uh, yep, there you Smith, go. Smith, yeah. That was a girls' school, right? Okay, uh, one yep. point, Sam, to me. Yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Points. We're at two, Check. three points. Check in Check two it. points. Who's so five that? points for Wild Things from M. Incher. Muncher. Mun is that how you say that? I don't know. One, two, three, five, um, two, Sam? We're at 13 so far, just so you guys know. I might have to leave soon. Okay. Or I do have to leave soon. Just enough. Wesley Snipes. Oh, yeah. They were all in the city. Ice T. Alan Payne. Chris Rock. Mario Van Peebles. Christopher Williams. Vanessa Williams. Tracy Camilla Johns, and Judd Nelson. This is Detective Nick Peretti, big crazy jawhead, motorcycle freak, reject cop, just like you, Scotty. Money, money, On the streets, money, 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 there's a fine line between wrong and right, good and bad, between those who enforce the law. It is a war out there. And those who break it. Gone are the days of selling on the street corners dark alleyways in the back rooms of some bummy ass bar. We ain't with that no more. In a city where survival depends on friends. It's always business. Never personal. On family. We gotta look out for one another. On trust. On loyalty. On power. And my my brother's keeper. And my my brother's keeper. Yes, I am. Yes, 
a family out to run a city, are up against cops who know its streets. This ain't business. This is personal. And I know Jack. Well, this is big business. This is the hearing. American way. Oh, this is directed yeah. by Mario Van Peebles. Yeah, dude, he was he was into it. He did that. He did a couple around that time. I think he cooled off on that. But uh, that was a really cool trailer. It was way different. I love the fucking acapella thing. That was cool. Yeah, I thought it was going to yeah. be like a more you know street and rough trailer. So I do mm-hmm. like how it it kind of went a different way with it. Mm-hmm. Uh, I yeah, I I could say easily. I'm gonna give that two points. Like it had a lot of good lines from uh, like Ice T. This ain't business. This yeah. is personal. Like that was great. Um I Wesley Snipes is amazing and it's he's a so crime great. that he's not in more movies currently, you know, because how no. many fucking amazing movies he put out. And then he had like his tax problems, and then it was like he's not And now he anymore. uh Yeah, now he follows me on Twitter. So <laughs> it's true. What was the last movie he was in? My most uh well, he was, he had a great smaller part in that uh, uh My Name is Dolomite, that uh, Eddie Murphy biopic about Dolomite. Oh. Uh, what, Snipes is great in that movie. That's a great movie. I love that movie. And um, he, he was in some of the Expendables, wasn't he? He was in one of either part two or part three, maybe. Um, yeah, but uh, but the Dolomite movie was not that long ago. That was only 2018 or 19. I don't know. I'm sure he's been in something since then. I'm really hoping that whenever they get their shit together to make that Blade movie for Marvel, that they do the right thing and have uh, Wesley play Whistler. I think that'd be fucking awesome but uh i don't know this was anyway. white <laughs> i know Can you just imagine <laughs> like people are gonna get people will get mad about that you know some idiots will get mad about that if they were to do it they probably won't do it but uh like, and it'd be really funny because like it's like he's in the like, fucking blade movies like that's why it's like not even that you know but i would say like like go to the the still of the the trailer that's that's on right now of <laughs> well, for Jack uh City? For New Jack City. No, that's, those aren't. Huh? The the one that the is that okay. up for you guys? The Where's Wesley crying? Snipes crying. Yeah, that's those aren't from, real tears. No, that's from <laughs> a different movie, isn't that from? Uh... No, no, that that's that's. Uh, I have a different one up right now, but that's New Jack City. Yeah. The the mo- I know, but the movie advertised with him crying is New Jack City. Yeah, I yeah. think it's sugar. I thought it was Sugar Hill. Okay. No. It's it's that's the good crier. <laughs> it's it's I feel like they like did makeup and just like painted it on. Yeah. The, oh, did you weird. have to double check? Well, I thought it was. I you didn't always just thought trust that, me. Shut up for a second. Don't ask me an accusatory question and don't let me answer. Uh, I thought uh, I've always thought that was from Sugar Hill. I've never seen Sugar Hill, but I always thought that that was him from Sugar Hill. I, I thought that for years, so I'm surprised that's from New Jack City, which I've seen, and I don't remember that part. So I don't know, whatever. Um, New Jack City, have you guys seen it? By the way, not not since yeah. it first came out. It, well, you probably remember though. It escalates hard. Like that uh, that the last scene is like a crazy action scene with like. Those guys in the, in the, they're all in that like kind of complex. And I think some guys have like armor on. And I remember the final battle in GTA San Andreas was based on the final scene from, from New Jack City. Do you remember Chris Rock's end scene in that movie? Kind of. Yeah. I do. He was the crack addict. That's like the yeah. part of the movie. Okay. Yeah. It's a good movie. Anyways. Uh, oh, shit sorry i give it two points i give it two points also another five points from the boys chat just barely missed making that a three point it looks like so it's seven uh, so yeah it looks like it's uh two points from chat uh and that is seven points who gets them seven points going to belzo 33 belzo I tell you Bills how to do a randomizer. Bill so Baggins. What? I, Wait, I do a randomizer, right? Uh, seven. 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 All right, great. I do a random number generator, right? And yes, so I spin yes. it. And it always, yep. it'll be like 12. And I'll be like, all right, we'll do 12. And the next one will be like 
54. We took 54. Then I spin it again, I'll be like, 11. I'll be like, well, 11's the same person that did 12. Spin it again, 55. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on with these random number generators just, like, hitting the same, like... You should roll a bunch of, of dice. I should roll dice, except, you know, we have, like, almost 200 submissions for this theme. Well, then you get uh, 20... No, you get 10 20-sided dice. I don't think that adds up. Dice. I don't think it adds up at all. But what if it did? But no, it would. That's <laughs> right, right? That's going to be right. That's you just add all the numbers you, together. Yeah. But you still, you still, you have to factor in that the the lowest number, if you have 10 20-sided oh, dice, yeah, will is be 10. 10. Yeah. yeah, so 1 through 9, fuck you guys. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what are we doing? I think Why it's don't you just turn. number them by submitter groups instead of movies. True. I I do I do that, but it, 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 you know. Why don't you just number your mom? That's what you say back to them, Nate, when they ask questions like that. That's not water, is it, Timmy? No, this is LSD. <laughs> Fucking rules. <laughs> Fucking rules, bro. Faith had always believed in oh, romance. I'm getting a name. True love and destiny. His name is Damon Bradley. Oh my God. 15 years later. He proposed. She settled for Dwayne. Oh, oh, I know you don't like that. I'm sorry. That's okay. Is it all off? Yeah, I do. But changing your destiny. Hello? Isn't that easy? Hi, I'm Russell Tomei. My name is B-R-A. Hello? Damon Bradley? Yeah. yeah. Where are you? I'm on my way to Venice. Oh! Is it Marissa Tomei? It's a coincidence! Yeah. It is not a coincidence! It's fake! I just want to get a look at him, that's all! Now she's going to find her one true love. He's here. Oh, it's... Even if he's someone... I'm Damon Bradley. She never imagined. That's a first. Uh, I've got a minute. From the director of Moonstruck comes a new romantic comedy. You are here. Yes, I'm here. You're here. I'm very real. About a love that was written in the stars and rewritten here on Earth. I have a confession to make. My name's not Damon Bradley. What? It's Peter Wright. Oh! TriStar Pictures presents Marissa Tomei. How could you do this to me? Because I'm in love with you. Uh, what kind of an excuse is that? Robert Downey Jr. You said whatever it was you'd understand. I... Before I knew who I was! In a Norman Jewison film. Please do not let her go. I hate him. You're crazy about him. Faith, I was afraid of losing you. I don't believe in anything anymore. I don't believe in destiny or magic or men. You're nuts about me! Hey, We're Peter. made for each other! Only you. Featuring I, Once in a Lifetime. I Michael was into Bolton. it, and they fucking they fucking fucked it up. I was into oh, they it. They fuck it up. I think they should not have given away the twist in the trailer. I think you could have milked maybe a little shorter trailer, a minute and a half, just making a nice rom com with these two stars everybody loves, and have some jokes in it, you know, and then save the tra- the that twist for your movie. That's how I ended up watching the movie fresh, thinking it was a rom com. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> and then it takes a turn and I'm like, what the fuck is this movie? Totally. Like, what's that new one it? out? Shotgun oh, Wedding. Yeah. Shotgun Wedding, I haven't seen it, but it looks kind of fun. But and they give away in the trailer that it turns into an action movie. But like that one, it seems, you know, that makes sense. Whereas this where it's like it doesn't really change the premise. It's almost more like you're just giving away a plot point, you know, and a, 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 a twisty one at that. So that's why I was like, yeah, I don't know. But otherwise, I mean, you know, it was a fun trailer. Definitely 90s, very 90s. It's it's funny that you're following Marissa Tomei in this. Because mm-hmm. it seems like it seems like this story would be a story you'd follow like Robert Downey Jr.'s character, on, right. the guy who asks, is trying to get away with this lie. Uh, right. He's basically like hot Larry David. 
You know, he just does something stupid and tries to get out of it. You know, I I liked it. I liked um, rom coms. I'm a sucker yeah. for rom coms. I'm gonna give this two mm. points. It's I'll something it... I'll probably watch this week. I almost want to give it zero for that egregious error, but no, I still liked it. I'll give it one. I'm going to give it one also. So that's right. three from us. What does Chad do? Chad did not like it and gave it nothing. Wow. So three points. So what do you guys think? Should we each do one more and then call her? Sam said he has sure. to go. It's getting kind three of Three points sure. yeah, for Sally I... in the alley. RDJ is on drugs and a liar. How good. <laughs> okay. Wait, what is that? What was I just looking at? Oh, this. What the fuck is this? Is it my turn? I'm sorry. Okay, okay, all right. I got all confused about which one I was going to do. Give me a second. We didn't do any of those persons yet. Okay, I like the context on this. We haven't played any of those persons yet. Let's do it. Oh, God, it's another horny one. I'm sorry, you guys. I didn't even <laughs> think about that. Is it horny? Uh, I don't know. Our heart is crying, Some. crying. She's loaded to the ground. She's walking on I really wish you'd come home with me. You're so cute. And I'm really good in bed, too, believe me. No? Okay. When your life is on the rocks, and you can't remember how it got there, it's time to move on. We're gonna let you go, okay? Okay. <laughs> what are you gonna do now? I thought I'd move out to Las Vegas. A blush on your cheek. Ben wasn't planning to start a new life. And he wasn't asking for a second chance. But on the road to oblivion, he got lonely. If you'll come to my room for one hour, I will give you $500. Sarah thought her life was as it should be. And then she met Ben. Why don't you stay at my place tonight? Okay. Wow. Well, you, you look extremely beautiful. I do. Come rain or come shine. And against all the odds, these two unlucky people fall head over heels. Nicholas Cage. <coughs> Nurse! Elizabeth Shue. So what's it tonight? Another 500 to watch you sleep. It looks like I'm with the right girl. Leaving Las Vegas. So the context on that submission, I won't say the person yet, but the context just said a very misleading trailer. Indeed. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah, I haven't. I haven't seen this movie, but I know that movie's a fucking bummer, right? It like, is a dark movie, and even like right. the song does not make it like. Yeah, it, they they really downplay. I they mean, they made it look it, like honeymoon in Vegas, like another yeah. right. It Which looks was like a, a, a romantic. I mean, I guess it is a romantic movie, but it is a fucking dark movie. And I mean, all the booze stuff. I mean, you know, it's all about the booze stuff. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's it's a, it's somebody just drinking themselves into oblivion, like purposely, not like oh I've got a problem and I'm trying to get better. No, it's mm -hmm. like it's it's fucking nuts. And also Elizabeth Shue is super hot. In this. Right. Um, yeah, she's yeah, great. She... Did this win um, Best Picture? It definitely won some stuff, didn't it? Um, I, I was going to ask uh... a question. Uh... Was there something goofy with the with the sound on that particular video, or was Nick Cage doing a weird voice? No, Did it seem like his voice was weird in that? Yeah. Like he, I mean, like 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 he this was talking more like this, you know. I mean, Nick Cage does that, like right. you know, like uh, Peggy Sue got married. You ever see that one? Yeah, okay. A uh, long maybe a long time ago. 
yeah. in New yeah. Orleans. Well, he was doing a, a accent or something in that one, wasn't? Well, he like gets like really fucked up throughout it, and like right. at the end of it, he's talking. Right. Really crazy. Oh yeah. Like, okay, uh, Oscar. Tells a break on dawn. It got nominated for best director, best actress, best screenplay. Didn't win those, but Cage won best actor for this. So there you go. For his his funny voice. It's a good job, everybody. Um, I think because of the absolute goddamn absurdity of that trailer, I'm gonna give it two. You know what I mean. Uh, yeah, I I also have to give it two just because it's like so so uh, misleading. It's crazy. It's I totally... love the idea of like my mom watching that, and be like, "Well, this looks cute," and throwing it off. Well, that's you know that's what, I mean? what is so confusing about like the marketing department being like, "All right, we need a trailer that is that lies to the audience to get people to see the movie, thinking it's going to be this like positive thing." The movie uh-huh. is. I mean, I guess you could maybe if you're if you're looking really deep into it, there are some optimistic parts to it. But it's like, you know, it right. is. Uh, it's, it's heavy. It's heavy. It's a great movie. It's a great movie. Um, uh, and Nick Cage is like when you when you see these like bits of him, it looks ridiculous. But when you right. see the character, you know he's fucking hammered as shit the right. whole movie. So it it kind of makes sense, you know. It it doesn't stand out as weird, but um. It's it's a really good movie. Uh, I'm I sure. Just watch Nicholas it. And, Cage and people in chat treasure. were saying he, he Nicholas Cage won uh, best actor for that movie. Yeah, that's what I was just saying a little bit ago. Yeah, he won the Oscar for it. Yeah. Okay, uh, it's my turn. Did you give it uh, points? Well, Sam? we're still. Oh, uh, one point. So one from you, two from me, two from Nate, and what did chat do? That gave it two points. So that's six. Four. Oh, I have to know that one, don't I? Fuck. Uh, Rouse Dowser. Six points for Rouse Dowser. Uh, yeah, I think we're at Sam. Alex Brown and his parents this is it. are finally moving into a normal life. Your mom and dad are out of the spot. this narrative. I thought they never let you just drop out. Once you're in the game, you're in for life. The Cold War is over, son. <laughs> Who's behind it? General Victor Petrov. He plans to build an array of portable nuclear weapons. I came here to find them. To save his parents, Alex must shape his destiny with forces of magic. There's a boy who <laughs> becomes a dog. Is connected to the CIA, and then it becomes a bird. <laughs> what is this? Animal kingdom. Today, Petrov gets the plutonium that he used to make his bomb. You've got to stop that from happening. I just want to see my mom and dad again. If the guard can rise, it can fall. <laughs> to save the world, he must combine science and sorcery as his ultimate weapon against evil. Okay. Okay. Oh, he kicks Bark too? <laughs> yeah, I was just gonna say now there's some fighting. You have one more fight before you are finished. I am just this lawnmower. What'd you say, Dene? Make a you just lawnmower, man. Yeah. Is that Sandra Bernhardt as the villain? No. Oh my god, that is awesome! <laughs> I gotta go and watch this right now. Oh my god, that's. Uh, can we do a. Oh man, I gotta go to sleep now. I, I, I'm spent. That was great. Oh. This. Would this get like the super trailer point? Yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. That was like really fucking Sam, what good. What do you think? The super trailer point is just to all vote giving it two points. What, what okay. I'm like, this is two points way up. Oh, so, so we could say that it's a total of six from us, so we don't have to minus one, basically what we're saying? Do, do six points? I, would, do you have, I mean, uh, what do you guys think? I think it's a home fucking run, you know? You Would you touch fists? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Which way sure. do we do that? Do we go, Do Your I go like left. this? If it's that My side. left. Huh? There you go. Sam in the middle. I, I'm doing it. 
<laughs> I don't think it gets any more points, but um, yeah, that's pretty good. It would be unfair if we were to give it six points straight, right? Would no. It? Why? Okay. It would not? I don't know. I mean, I seven know. people already voted it- no on this, which is crazy. Flitty Twitch. Crazy. Yeah, that's a 100% movie. If you're like, I don't think this is fucking cool. Oh, but wait, 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 hold on. you're watching the wrong show. Horse I'm paint. looking at the comments. Lobaka says in the Letterbox review, someone said this, the fact this movie has Bjork on the soundtrack is magnificent. This movie has <laughs> Resident Bjork Steel on the gave it one. Abby Sally gave it one. What? Do we have to watch it again? Domino's no. Fleet? Oh, don't no. do that. I hate it when you do that. It's like, there's no point to it. They're not going to, you're not going to change their minds. It's the fucking internet. You know, yeah, you don't change so, people's minds. Yeah, it either. looks awful in the best fucking way. In the best way. I like want to watch it right now. You know, you want to watch the trailer right now? <laughs> no, I don't because <laughs> I has... hate it when you do that. I just, I literally just said that too. And I know you I know, know that. Know. I know you know Tax, that. Tax Ship says it has Gryffindor in it. <laughs> Dude, I had a fucking, yeah. Okay, let, let's just. All right, I don't want to. We don't. We're not going to try and change these people's minds. But let's run over the things that happen in that trailer. Okay, his dad's a spy, and a guy has like nukes, or his dad's like out of the game, or whatever. Some guy's <laughs> stealing nukes, and that's like fifteen his, seconds. That's like the parents person. get kidnapped. Yeah. Then also, he, it, and then his. Uh, he's ahead, an sorry. idiot too like like or his parents are idiots too and they're like hey we stopped being spies and he had it's to be fine. like isn't it like the like yeah the kid's like have you never seen a fucking movie before dad <laughs> yeah you know this you know a bunch of commandos gonna are gonna well. break in here and fuck everything up right <laughs> and then um Ma- so then he goes and learns magic yeah in a yeah. rainbow room yeah <laughs> <laughs> and he's like and then- a hacker well, yeah, then he's got also, a computer, and then he's fucking doing karate, and it's like, what? What is happening? That was crazy. Also, man. also, I'm gonna throw this out there animals. too. Yeah, is that uh, the the Russians who are like the bad guy? You know, in a movie like this, usually you'd have it be like, like the kid would get the the powers to fight the evil people, and they'd be like, oh, he finally figured out he has those powers, you know. But in this, they're like, wait, hold on. The Americans have someone who can turn into a dog and turn into a bird. And, you know, like they yeah. were, they were like the audience. They were as confused about it as we were. <laughs> also, was He's that first dog? Was that first dog? Was yeah. that first dog a wiener dog? It looked like it turned into a wiener <laughs> yeah, dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which like, be oh, shit. That's all even better. Dog. But also, we I, haven't even talked about how he goes into the internet like Tron. <laughs> Yeah, for- we haven't even gotten to that point yet. Oh like my he, God. he lawnmower mans himself into cyberspace. This is why we. I, oh. Now I'm afraid to watch the whole movie because there's so much to think about. From one we just trailer. got raided by Briley. Briley, Briley. Am I saying that right? I'm sorry. With 303 viewers. Whoa! Oh, shit. Whoa. Thank you so much. Oh. Oh. Is that a Samsung? Please, ex- please tell us how. Is it Briley? Br- we want to say it right. Briella, Briella, pronounce it for Bray- us. Chat. L. Bray- Can you do a song with all the pronunciations? Did yeah. we decide? Hold on, let's do the points before we get a concert. Uh, points. We had two, two, two. Uh, eight points total. Oh, we points. should. Okay. Dan Bally has a good point. Same uh, score uh, for it. Put your score in. Two, we should watch it again two. for the Raiders. Yeah. Okay. No, Sam. I mean, Sam, go put the scoring on the board because that was your Not pick, yet. wasn't it? We want to see the Raiders. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, oh, that's okay. nine points. The Raiders vote. Yeah, the that's Raiders nine point... rated. That's nine points to Flanja. All right. Nine we points. threw in an extra point there. Yeah. All right, Raiders. I want to show you this video. We're trailer boys. We watch movie trailers that you guys submit. We just saw something that was crazy, and I want to show it to you right now. Wait, did I just now do it by accident, or is that you? His parents this is it. Are finally moving into a oh. normal life. Your mom and dad are out of the spy business. I thought they never let you just drop out. <laughs> Quit the spying. Dumbass. Stop spying. You're correct, kid. You are correct. And uh, all the adults are idiots. Who's behind it? General Victor Petrov. He plans to build an array of portable nuclear weapons. Well, he's got an apple. I came here to find them. So it's like, hey, your parents who are ex-spies got kidnapped, we need you, the son of the parents, to get them back. 
There's a boy who becomes a dog. He's connected to the CIA. Well, that was a little What is that this dog? Okay. animal kingdom? What is this animal kingdom? Yeah. Yes. See, I already forgot that lady was in it. This computer lady. Cortana. If the guard can rise, it can fall. To save the world. He's also he a hacker. Science and, and, and as his ultimate weapon. I think there's like World War II Nazis in this. <laughs> I think they're Russians. Dude, did he, was this karate noise? Yaha. Yeah. Yeah. It's a me. Yeah. It's me. It's me, a magic kid. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't the internet like this? Oh my god! Stay calm. Make a plan. Attack. <laughs> I'm downloading. Now, oh, this came out in 1999, and Americans <laughs> and the world we chose the Matrix over this. Shame, shame on us. Wait, what year did the Matrix come out? 1999. This came out. This came out the same Look year. At that Griffin. Look at that Griffin. <laughs> this came out the same year as the Matrix. That's so crazy. <laughs> yeah, why didn't the Matrix look this good? Yeah, oh my I god. Didn't see, I didn't see any fucking Griffins in your movie, Canoe. <laughs> so Raiders, you oh can hit god. two in chat if you thought that was amazingly dope, like we did, or one. And then you don't like it, but I'm not, and that blew my mind the second time around. Yeah, I was so still good. impressed. You know, I'm not someone who tells people like how to th like. I hate it when people say like this movie is objectively the best movie, or when people just kind of state their opinions as fact. But that oh, is horse the best trailer. Said one. Horse yeah, paint. Horse paint already voted oh, one. Horse fuck. Can I can I hammer ban them right now? Can I do Dom it? Dominus, Dominus Fleet. Oh wait, these people have. Uh, Low standards, Nate. Domino's Fleet One, Schlitty Twitch One. Now, see, here's the problem though. These people are you might they might like the trailer, they just don't like us, which is really likely. They already and voted too. They're just saying one. Oh, Abby Sally saying, wants to yeah. change her vote. It's 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 a it's a it's a, a, now she a symbolic says it was lit. vote change, but you can't uh she's young crazy. and she's young and Only malleable. New, yeah, we're not doing a new mind. vote, we're just letting the, the new people vote. Wiz oh, World Live is rating with eleven. Wow! Well, thank you. Wiz World Live. We got lots of good raiders from Wiz World Live. Live. Do you want to Sam see a it's... really fucking cool trailer? <laughs> <laughs> because you should vote. Let me show oh you guys this trailer, and we'll break it down oh for my you. God. Okay. All right, let, let's let's be quiet at the beginning. And his parents. This is it. Are finally moving into a normal life. Your mom and dad are out of the spy business. I thought they never let you just drop out. Once you're in the game, you're in for life. The Cold War's over, son. <laughs> Who's behind it? General Victor Petrov. He plans to build an array of portable nuclear weapons. I came here to find them. To save his parents, Alex must shape his destiny with forces of magic. There's a boy <laughs> who becomes a dog. He's connected to the CIA. And then he becomes a bird. What is this? Animal kingdom? Today Petrov gets the plutonium that he used to make his bomb. You've got to stop that from happening. I just want to see my mom and dad again. If the guard can rise, it can fall. To save the world, he must combine science and sorcery as his ultimate weapon against evil. Yeah. <laughs> You have one more fight before you are finished. Oh, There's the Matrix. The plan attack. <laughs> <laughs> you tell me it's great. Oh my god. Shape <laughs> shape. <laughs> the sound that the Griffin made. Yeah. What was that? It matched how crappy the the the, the graphics <laughs> yeah. were. Esco Momo says this truly is the skate fall of Trailer Boys. I think <laughs> that is pretty. I mean, fitting. if we get rated again, <laughs> <laughs> even with one person, just fucking yeah. so all of you guys uh, that just rated, you can type one in chat if you didn't like it. Two in chat. Resident if you're Stevel cool. says one yet again. Resident Stevel, I used to like you until right now. Not true. 
Because I didn't see. Like no, it's don't say that. Resident <laughs> Evil. When I was playing all the Doom games, which I'll get back to eventually. Uh, he that guy's a fucking uh, a fount of knowledge about. Well, Doom. he threw it in the trash, Timmy. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I loved him until the story of friendship. Yeah, I, cool. I almost uh, want to write his name down on a piece of paper, then go to my garage and set it on fire. You know what I mean? Hey, I I have to I have to go. Yeah, we uh, should be about done anyways. Uh, are we gonna watch I, one wait. more? Should we just do trailer of the night? I think we're ready for trailer of the night. I mean, I had one, but I don't think it's gonna be better than that. Yeah, yeah. I feel like so anything we watch. I, I mean, we could. It'll know. probably suck ass. I don't know if Sam has time for it. I, I don't have time. I have okay. to go. Right. Okay. Let's wrap the show up then. Let's do right. trailer of the before, week. But Sam's going to go trailer right now. of the week. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, I was just going to throw out for next week. I think we've done this before, but I think it's a solid theme uh, for next week is uh, sports movies. Oh, because the, the, the week game. after that is the Super Bowl. Mm hmm. Are we going to want to put any twist on it? Because sometimes we'll get like the same sports trailers we got like two years ago. Sports movies with a ghost. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> the fifth man and what? or sixth man. And I don't know what else. Angels in the outfield. Uh, okay. Wait a minute. Did I wait, accidentally uh, say a genre? That's <laughs> <laughs> okay. How about, how about wacky sports movies? Oh, like it, 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 it's not just like a straight up sports movie. It's, it, it's like has to have something sports comedies, something a little extra, you know, like okay. a ghost or a, you animal. know, a kid that owns the team or an animal that owns the team. A golden retriever, perhaps. Or, or maybe uh, a woman. Women in sports, <laughs> Sam. A woman I'll accept, basketball coach? Uh, yeah. you know, I'll accept a chimp on a snowboard, but a lady coaching? <laughs> uh, um, can you read off the uh, trailers for Trailer of the Week for me? Yeah. Uh, right, oh, who, who submitted? Right. Oh, Flange just submitted. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. Well, to me, I'll make it easy we, for we you. We have like more than, will... we have a lot of eights uh, and then a nine. Okay, well, I'm so, sorting it for you. Oh, thank you. Sorting by points. Grazie. Oh, look at that! Beautiful. Okay, so we have uh, we have uh, ten. Oh, no, I broke sevens it. and eights. Oh, wait, we're only going eight to nine. Okay. What now? I, Sam, when he left, he broke it, but I fixed it. Okay, can I still tell you this, or you need me to wait? Okay, I'll wait. Uh, we're just doing eights and. Okay, we're eight doing nine. eights and the nine. Okay. Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3. Just go TCM 3 if you need to. People will get it. I already finished writing the whole thing, but then you made me. All right, next. I didn't make you do anything. I suggested, you little bastard. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. True Romance. End of Days. Problem Child. Shapeshifter. Why we even need to ask? Uh, I mean, oh. you know, a lot of times these ending polls can, can go a different way, you know, like. Yeah. Labaka says, I'm royally disappointed in Aust the, the Austin Powers trailer didn't get selected as that was a great misdirect. I don't remember that one being a misdirect, but, you know, we don't get to them all. Sorry, it happens. Well, I was Sometimes just we have to randomly. play one three times. Sometimes we have to play trailer three times <laughs> because people raid, you know? So, oh, shit, um, I'm trying not to be in the way of these numbers. I keep fucking it up. Go this way. Literally. I don't know what this way means. I'm watching the. There you go. There you go. That direction. There we go. Okay. Um, so if you haven't seen the show before, if you're part of the raids, what we actually do here every Sunday, most Sundays, hey, Flawed Morals has cheered 200 bits and said, hey, Timmy, thank you. I don't like you very much, but I think Nate is great. I can read the chat, you stupid motherfucker. I know it's not in there. Okay. What are you trying well, to pull here? Uh, thanks, Flawed Morals. We appreciate the bits. So yes, we thank you very watch much. movie trailers every Sunday, and the movie trailers we watch are based on a theme, and you, audience, submit the trailers. Oh, people are asking what the first movie is. It's Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3. Maybe we should have typed it out. They're fucking with you. <laughs> oh, okay. But nobody's voting for it. 
Uh, okay. Maybe they didn't like it as much. I mean, it was it was an okay trailer. You know, it was a te- it was a teaser trailer. I think it know? was way better than okay. I think it was great, but I mean, there's better ones here. I'm just surprised that zero people have voted for it. Is all I'm saying. So. Oh Misery no! Steve says he he really didn't know what it was. I genuinely, yeah. It's Text Chainsaw Massacre three. I only said TCM three because I know Nate had to type it, and I wanted to save him the trouble. Art, there okay. was a raid. Oh my God! Him Jim three raided us. Oh, we have to watch the trailer again. Well, him Jim three is raided with a party of one. Alex Brown. Oh. And his parents. Oh, moving into a normal life. I finally you got this voice. Out of the spy I thought they never let you just. Doesn't he look like the guy from uh, those Guillermo del Toro movies that wears like the fish suit? Who's behind? A little bit. I also was thinking like if Ryan Phillippe's genetics got fucked up somehow. I came here to find them. Also, these are easily like thermoses, the nuclear things here. Yes, those are thermoses. Who's here to find them? To save his parents, Alex must shape his what destiny. What happened to Munchie? I don't know. I guess Munchie didn't get, a magic. get the... There's a boy who becomes a dog. Did Munchie get eight? He's connected to the CIA. Munchie got seven. A bird. Munchie got seven. What is this? Animal Kingdom? Today, Petrov gets the <sighs> Is she the internet? Is she like the... Yeah, look I at think the boobs so. on the internet. I know. How weird. Are those boobs? It looks she like... Mom and Daddy. I don't know. The guard can rise I love what she's fall. like... He's gonna get his he hands on some nuclear weapons, and the kid and just goes, "I just want to see my and mom and dad." And sorcery is and his ultimate weapon against evil. Yeah. Guess what? He also yeah. knows martial arts. Yeah, he's karate the shit out of people. <laughs> Why is the internet made of fire? Do you notice I that? don't know. <laughs> Maybe he was coming straight to the whitest kid's Twitch channel. Um, that, uh, okay. That was for the new Raiders. Thank you, Him Jim How 3 and is your the one viewer. poll going? Okay, some people have now voted Somebody has for, voted for Texas Chainsaw, uh, yeah, Massacre. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. The inter- Steve says the, re- the internet is a series of flaming tubes. You're right. Series of flaming tubes. I'm in high school. That's like that close to being a good joke. <laughs> like he hitting it though. What? I say that for everything. That was my yeah, I like. School. Oh, really? That's actually I like how it. I ended up with Big it's Breakfast. A, that's a good was- bit. I was um, at brunch and I I was hungover as fuck and it was like one of those fancy brunch places that only has like five things on the menu and I was just looking at it and I was like yes all of it and then <laughs> was like that's a big breakfast I was like that was that was my nickname in high school and then like the next time we did brunch I show up and a friend of mine had a hat and it had big breakfast embroidered on it and that's, that's how it is awesome and then somebody had the Twitch that's name such big a breakfast. good nickname someone already had it. Yeah, so I stayed with Nate Blackest on Twitch. Gotta take out Shapeshift. Already has a spot in the trophy case. Oh, so here's the thing. Now people know that Flanja is number one on the leaderboard, and now they're going after him. Oh, but I mean, the troll, the the troll, the poll, but also, yes, has been active for five minutes. How much longer are we going to let it go? 20 more minutes is normally how we do uh, trailer of the week. I fucking Timmy. hate you so much. I don't like you at all. <laughs> um, so let me say this, though. If, if you're new, I'm falling if you're asleep new to the game, I know. If, if you're new to the game, um, the, the theme for next week is going to be sports movies. When you see, when you go to miseryloves.us to submit your trailer, um, and if, if you see the theme and it doesn't say sports, then don't submit it yet. Cause what we do is we wipe the slate and we, we go live when the theme changes on the website itself. Um, it's going to be wacky sports movies. I would, I am going to put a link up to the sports movies we watched last time. There you go. Um, so see what we <laughs> already watched for our previous sports episode. So it'll be sports yeah, make, too. Make- 
make sure you don't make sure you pay attention when you're submitting because you don't want to cross the themes. Is that a reference to Ghostbusters? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. <laughs> um, okay. You got any, you streaming it all this well, week? Oh my god! I think I just I think my I just hit that broken part when you're tired. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna fuck. I, I'm just gonna go eat the rest of my Delta Eight gummy and just fucking I, laugh. I'm still no. getting up on. I'm still getting caught up on our um, Trailer Boys uh, VODs on YouTube. I think okay. the links are here. Uh, but there are some funny ones when you and I got hammered. Oh, and, wait, uh, the one this past summer or the one no. recently? Recently, well, we had a few. Oh yeah, I got just me and okay. You. I got drunk, <laughs> and then we ended up watching that. Like, I watched not all of it with you, but that stupid fighting movie that was just bikini girls fighting. Uh, DOA, right? That's what we. I don't. Oh but yeah, yeah. We ended the right show Christmas, and then watched right it before alive. New Year's, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Or that was it on New Year's? Well, that was a fun one. That was a fun one. Yeah. Um, and if you also don't know, I stream under, I don't know, it's not popping up, but Nate Blackest, and we do watch parties during the midweek, um, randomly, sometimes Mondays, sometimes two, uh, sometimes Wednesdays, but, uh, and sometimes we, we usually do it as a poll. People get to choose what they want to watch, uh, vaguely, vaguely veiled polls. Implicate we watched something so bad last week, though. What was it? No, not last week. Last week we watched Cool as Ice, which wasn't so bad. But like the week before, we watched Dragon Ball Z, the live action movie. Oh Evolutions. my god, that movie looks really bad. Yeah, and I was hoping it would be fun. Bad. It was not fun. It was bad. Mm. Bad. Um, um, Implicate said, "Remember the butt shot in um, DOA." I mean, I think I remember the one she means, but there's I, there's definitely more than one. But there was like a really unnecessary butt shot. Is that what you're talking about, Implicate? Implicate says, right before you left, I think that's to me, I said the sexiest part was about to happen. It was a fight scene and it was raining. <laughs> Man, that movie fucking rule. Who's that? It, was it Jamie Presley who was in that, right? And, um, oh, who is that other lady? Uh, uh, Devin Aoki? Steve Aoki's sister, right? Correct. <clears throat> yeah, it was an interesting cast. Anyway, I, I thought it was I a fun movie. Yeah, yeah, it looked it was it was fine, you know. Uh, yeah, lots of jiggly butts. Uh, it was you can see what she had for lunch. Abby Sally has put together like a letterbox list of the movies that we've done watch parties oh, right. for. And it's really funny because some of them I totally forget. Abby, I gotta follow. Um, I gotta follow you on a, a letterbox because I like to follow people on there because uh, then you see. You know, that makes your feed better. You can see more movie reviews from random people and stuff like that. So I'll look her up. Um, anyways, uh, so I think we have a clear, defined winner. And I think it's Blanger cool. Again. Yeah. And I think it's cool that people picked a uh, shapeshifter because it's not like we were stumping for it. <laughs> Stumps they just itself, kinda, okay. They just randomly picked it. It's not like we sang its praises for the last 20 minutes and watched it four times. <laughs> It's it's good. It's Here's for no, thing. it's great. It, it's for the record for within the show. Who knows? Who keeps counting? It's gotta be. But let me say, um, let me just go back through them. It's like uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers was cool. The the Texas Chainsaw Massacre was a teaser trailer, so it was it was kind of fun. Mm -hmm. True Romance I liked, um, mm -hmm. but you know, End of Days actually I think would be the one. If I was yeah. going to put any of them closer to Shapeshift, <clears throat> it would be the end of days trailer. I would, um, I would also, I'd agree, but also my, my new Power Rangers was an excellent trailer. And I, I think it's trailer, hard yeah. to see that as an adult because it's so kid oriented, but I mean, it was fucking well put together. It's no, just it's like the nostalgia factor to it though, yeah, where you're like, yeah, oh, yeah but also, but dope. even without that, it just like had a bunch of cool shit in it, you know? So a zit in the middle of my fucking forehead. I can see that man. It makes you look like a fucking Manson member or something. What was the first one? Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3. Man, I was wrong about that. I, t I guess I was, yeah, I'm in the horror. I'm a horror nerd, and I was in the horror nerd brain saying, just put TCM 3. They'll know. Oops. Um, anyways, people, um, I am really, I, I know I say this every time I have for seven months or something, but I really, I'm going to try and start streaming again. I, I feel that Zucchini Boy's itch, and I just need to take the time to get the uh, logistics 
So I'll get there. Uh, Until then, you can follow me. And if Timmy yeah, ever wants to Nate watch Borges. a movie with us, he can join in. I did that. I did that once. It was fun. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah. yeah, we do it every week. Panini Mini said, just raid the scene from Wild Things. Mm. Man, would we? Right, everybody. Okay. Good night. I love you. Thank you, Gooby Wood. Thank you, Timmy. Everybody's good. Bye. Bye.